But yes, I also speak humanoid and kobold. Uh, you're not wrong, uh, but when you say it like that, it sounds sultry. <laughs> the tongue of giants. Sultry. Yolk. Yolk. Well, nonetheless, we're alive with game. Yay! It's happening yeah. again. Uh, and this uh, time, uh, this time we get to play the 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 songs that we usually play. Except this time, we're not playing the spring playlist we're playing the summer playlist ooh <gasps> fancy damn living it up huh today's playlist has been brought to you by the passage of time no i hate that <laughs> so let's start with a bit of recapping and with all of you renewing your hero points Oh, yes. As we always do. I didn't I spend all of my hero points last game. Oh, no. You're, you're playing wrong. Possibilities were wasted. Don't worry. I spent enough for you. <laughs> so, let me fetch my pen that so I can shut down some details. Because today is session 27. I only know because I have numbers here. Otherwise, I would never know. So last time around, in here, in this lovely land of Solfak, uh, well, a bunch of stuff happened. You killed some... a large titan thing? All the way over at Mount Froibon. In the, the border with the Divide, with the Kingdom yep. of Nord. Then you, you made killed your, the glowy boy. You killed the glowy boy and made your way back towards the academy. But you made a couple stops on the way. Well, three stops, actually. You fetched a magical book at a tower. You scouted manticores and giant trees. Then you also stopped along... Well, that was four stops, actually. You stopped at the place of power near the academy. This one that I'm being right here. To... Yep. Uh, channel in all of your, all of your, all of your Titan points. You exchange them for prizes, and the prize was knickknacks this time. He exchanged it and got a power, which was which one again? I spent all of the, all of the tickets and got the dragon off of the top shelf that's larger than I am, and then got crushed under its immense weight. You're actually I, going I picked with the, the one that. No, um, that was the one I picked, but uh, if, God willing, uh, that one that I linked to might be the one I took take instead. You did have arguments there. I do have arguments there. Mainly with it not being, you know, with it specifically being a class-specific thing. But at the end of the day, I think I'd rather have let you have this class-specific thing than going through the rigmarole of you shifting in and out of dragon form all the time because I don't want to deal with that. Yeah, Foundry doesn't want to deal with that. Oh no, so you won't be a dragon anymore. We saw nothing. Yeah. Well, Alas. maybe or not maybe. And then you called on to the professor of the academy, or the uh, deputy headmaster. Everyone knows his name. Say it out loud now, kids. I Professor Jorgenod. There you go. 
Professor Elminster. Corin, you're like, gonna go you call out to him in a dream, like a uh, Sleeping Beauty, and he showed up uh, in the following morrow to perform the ritual, which granted uh, Nick Knack his draconic powers, maybe, and then flew back to the academy and left you to do your own stuff. I believe then you charged the ship just enough so you could return. Yep. Then you did return, started handing out all of the papers you needed to complete finish with the uh, the reports on the Gliminal and all of the other things. I spent all afternoon on that! And also you made some conversation, you talked with friends, and friends, all of the foals are out in vacations. Oh, friends. Yay. You learn a thing or two or three or ten about all that has transpired in this three, four days, this extended weekend that you've been away from the academy, uh, which is not much, but it's still enough. To... But the manticorn tw took off. That's a lot. Yeah, another air flying ship that had been that was being constructed in the workshop for this past month finished being built, and then it departed, flying southwards instead. Uh, using some of the knowledge you um, you brought back to the academy, such as the existence of ley lines, more or less a, a way to find them, which is the <laughs> the ship consumes less fuel if we're flying this path. Because I don't think I you got really to to be very loud about the fact that you had the the lenses. Or did you? Yeah, we didn't. No, we didn't tell anybody that we had the lenses. Probably should have, but I think I wanted to go to the patent office first. There we go. I think I have to invent the patent office and then go to it. <laughs> um, well, you told some persons, specifically um, Professor Brennislav. Correct. Although... The reason he knew of it was that he already knew of Leyland's to begin with, but that's not here nor there. Then, after that, the, the Manticore, the other ship, departed. You just spent some time around the Academy learning what you could do now, and started doing some research into the giant trees and the Manticore and everything else that's going on. And then, then, then... What happened next was Vice approaching Professor Branislav to talk about uh, his mistrust towards his companion, who wants to become Derg, or is becoming Derg, who knows. And then he went on to talk with Professor Branislav, who then later on said, Hey, come over here, kid. They went into a dark alley, got into a dark classroom where magical stuff happened and you got in touch with the blizzard of the west during a meeting and surprising you more so than anything i believe um the blizzard of the west this elderly man who you know to be just a guise for a powerful dragon uh, crossed the mirror went beyond the threshold that separates this classroom where you're at with another place wherever he came from and he stepped into into the classroom uh through your shock and surprise but also he seemed familiar with the book you carry the tome of eagle bath or rather seemed familiar with the grimoire the Yes, seem familiar with the consciousness that inhabits the gri grimoire. And that is where we left off. Or am I forgetting something? Um, That's um, about it. And Claire failed her exams. Again, yeah. So. <clears throat> Hope you will not pay for her next time. You you are stood there, Vice, in this classroom. Uh, you're 
you're alone in the sense that none of your companions are there. All of the people who are there are uh, Professor Branislav, the the cat folk, tiger folk uh, professor who you've been talking to this whole time. His master, uh, the blizzard himself, who has come across the mirror, and the book, the grimoire that you carry. And the book exclaims, Monsieur Blizzard, it's been so long since I've seen you. And the blizzard, looking around this room, he holds his hand up high, and you can tell, <coughs> Vice, that he's concentrating on some kind of spell. Um... Going from what he said, you imagine that this is some kind of spell to more or less mask his presence in the academy. That so, you know, Yurguna doesn't realize is another dragon just entered his lair. Uh, but even then, you can tell that even though he's trying to magically disguise his presence, there is still a frigid air that permeates in the room now. Which is kind of refreshing, considering it's summer times and the temperatures have been rising. Now they cool down again with the presence of the blizzard in the room. But you imagine that if you were to go out and about, someone might notice at some point. Nonetheless, as he has his hand raised and looks around... Uh, the grimoire that you're holding, it uh, flaps open and seems kind of almost, almost to be vibrating with just how excited it is that uh, it's talking to the blizzard again. But the blizzard, he, with his other, other hand, he just kind of raises it ever so slightly to, you know, call for, uh, for the grimoire to calm himself down. But then, you do notice that his hand that he raises, he, he's wearing heavy robes, but... On the back of his, of his hand, you can see the very faint glimmer and shine of scales. Which betrays his true draconic nature. And he, the blizzard, starts speaking. No, no, Vigoro. Do not... Be alarmed. But a lot has changed since the last time we spoke. Or... We do not serve our master now in the same capacity we used to before. Cosme has returned to this world and our scorned lord now can rest again. But I now wonder how come you, of all people, managed to find yourself in the company of this fellow. And he says that kind of gesturing towards you. We found him. In the tower. And the girl also adds, and they says that they are followers of Eagle Beth as well. So I had to come with them. Well... About that... You see that both... Uh, both the Blizzard and Professor Branislav raises an eyebrow at you when... when the, the Grimoire says that. We lied. <laughs> I didn't understand the question at first, because... Uh, I thought... It asked who was the master of the voice that was speaking to us, not our master. And I didn't understand the situation quite well, but... Uh, you figured it by yourself now. You can listen to us talk. Can't you? The grimoire kind of... says... Well, some of the things you were saying did sound awfully suspicious for... 
true followers of Eagle Beth. Well, but, we're not followers of Eagle Beth, but we're also not against Eagle Beth. Well, I had expected some some things which have changed in the um, many decades have been laying there, waiting. And the blizzard says, And indeed, many things have changed. I, for better or worse, managed to get my wish. Dragons have returned to this land. To all lands. And that is the source of our conundrum now. Dragons are returned and some seek to seize power for themselves and upthrow the balance of power once again. What I did was reckless, but what these new come dragons plan to do is even more reckless and could have disastrous consequences. Say, Vice, you raised suspicions about one of your colleagues who's shown interest in becoming a dragon as well, have you not? I have. That's the reason why we're here in the first place. Very well. Take me to him. I have to have a word with him. I assume it's the... Just like that. You would like to walk under watchful eyes in the Academy of Other Dragon. I thought you didn't want to be found out. I tire of waiting. Furthermore, if my inaction were to lead to another dragon showing up, things could become even more complicated than they already are. I'm sure you'll understand. Besides, you needn't worry. You're the one taking the risk here, so yeah. Do, do whatever you wish. Take me to your draconic friend. I have the want to have words with him. And should I find his words unconvincing? Your friend, your colleague, will have to be executed. Yay, new character. Oh, what? And you see that at no moment Brennislav raises a word to protest or anything. You can you can tell he's kinda he's kinda somewhat fidgety and he doesn't seem to be one hundred percent on board with the, what the blizzard is saying, but he doesn't. Uh, he doesn't raise his voice towards him. Take me to him, Vice. Hopefully it will not come to the dire situation, but very well. And I'll suppose I'll take Mr. Dragon to Mr. Dragon Junior. Uh, you can see that as you're making to leave the room, uh, Brennislav quickly rushes to the blizzard and whispers something to him. Then the blizzard nods. And... It seems to take a little moment to look around and think for a little while. And then he... Casts another spell. You're not super sure which spell it is, but it seems high-level nonsense. And you can see now <clears throat> that the blizzard changes his form. Uh, and now it looks like a somehow even older version of uh, Branislav. He turns into another cat folk. And the frigid air that was kind of coming off of him seems to 
seems to quiet down. It's still somewhat cold, but not as frigid as it was before. Where you could even see frost uh, building up around the mirror. Now it's just a, a chill breeze at, at best. But now that he doesn't look fully draconic anymore, you all three of you make your way out of the... Well, four if you count the grimoire. All four of you make your way out of the classroom and start going off towards um, well, towards where you imagine you will meet the uh, your friends. So, well, I don't remember what it, all, what all of you have been doing last session, but I will assume. Vice kind of finds each and every one of you and kind of gathers you around until you're at a somewhat more isolated corner of the academy now. Together oh. with Professor Brandislav and this other uh, cat, catfolk looking gentleman that accompanies him. Oh, hi, Brandislav. Glad to see you again. Hello. Ah, uh, same to you. Same. Hope you've been oh. keeping the studies going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, lots of fun. We we went out on a big trip and came back. And uh, who's your friend? Um, he looks an awful lot like you. Mm. Well, um, uh, sir, if if you will, ma'am. And the uh, the other cat folk, he looks at all of you. We have met before. I'm the blizzard. The 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 blizzard? Here, this time of year, located. No, I'm not. No. Oh. Well, it had to be something big for you to come. I, I, what, what's, what's up? It's like actually you or illusion you or actual me physically here. And indeed, all of you can feel that the air around him is colder. And he looks around to all of you, but. All of you can tell that every time that he, his eye lands on Knickknack, he squints and examines him thoroughly for a long time before moving his eyes to the next person, back and forth. I tire of waiting. I had asked you to assist Brandislav here with learning more about Urganod and the Elder Watcher. Oh, we well we have we've been uh, figuring out the things that they've been doing and uh, trying to keep track of them, but I haven't seen anything that looks you know odd. Well, I decided to take matters into my own hands. If if they will not join me, then I am afraid that they will be relinquishing their own lives. Oh no! Oh boy. That's a lot yes. more sudden than I was expecting. Maybe we should talk to them or something first. Before we do that, there's another matter I have to uh, look into. There was two dragons in these lands when I first sent Brandislav here to investigate. And now, there is a third. And his eyes once again locked Take with yours. A fort, you say? Well, I think he's counting well. you. Yes. <laughs> Okay, weird comments aside, I assume that's why you've been 
staring at me. You who seek to become a dragon as well is a dangerous path to one you're going down. Ever since the return of Cosme, there have been people who have been learning many old forgotten secrets, some of which includes the means to become a proper dragon as it is. But this hubris should be kept in check time and time again to make sure you're not going to misappropriate your newfound powers and use them for evil or to upthrow the balance of forces in the world. And in our many previous encounters, I felt something odd about you. A little certain disregard for the order of things. Nick Knack is your name, correct? Yes. What say you in your defense? I can't really say I'm that interested in ascending to godhood and uh, I don't know controlling people or what I just like to fiddle with things to be honest I'm not all that interested in becoming a dragon I just felt pulled in that direction hmm Your alliances, allegiances, they are as malleable as water itself. Such power, such a fate, would not do well in the hands of one such as you. I present you with a choice, Nick Nick. Relinquish your power, or your life. I'm not sure if that really counts as a choice. Mm -hmm. It's not time to be smug, you know. <sighs> well, sure, whatever. Blah. <laughs> he ought to be bonk on the head. And you see now that uh, the blizzard, he kind of waves his hand over one of his arms. And you can see that um, whereas his arm was like a, a cat's folk arm, just bings at the end of the, uh, of the fingers and cat-like for, for now his, his arm or... You know, up to his elbow is just white scales, and his, uh, and at the end of his fingers now there's long claws, draconic looking, all of them. And he approaches you, Nick Knack, and without any ceremony whatsoever, he just kind of presses his, uh, his finger, his his claw against your chest. And he seems to make some kind of motion or movement, and almost as if he's fishing for something inside of you, even though his hands is just completely on the outside. And then once he once he stops moving, you feel like he has uh, caught on to something inside you, something untangible and yet fully part of you. And he yanks it out. Oh no, he's got your nose. Ow. <laughs> And you can't quite see what it is. It has no tangible form whatsoever in any way, shape, or form. But he seems to hold it in his hands. None of you can see anything. Except if 
if Nick Nack you were to be wielding the goggles now, you would see that there's an orb of light in his hand. Which, being ultraviolet as it is, none of you can see without the goggles or the lenses. But boy, are we getting cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and once it is in his hands, he just holds on to it for a little while, looks at it, and closes his hands, smashing it. And the orb just kind of explodes into small sparks of energy that once again, they just kind of flow right back into you, Nick Nack. Instead of, you know, going around the people like all the times you kill a titan. This time you just go straight into you. And you feel some of that power return, but in somewhat of another form, that draconicness that you had before is gone. But you feel like clear-headed for a moment. Some A surge of inspiration comes within you as this new power flows into you. And none of you are entirely sure of what happened, but Nick Nack, you know full well what happened. Nick Nack, what Nick, happened? Nick, Nick, are you okay? That felt very weird. Uh, I think I'm fine. What happened to you? I assume he pulled the dragon out of me and smacked it into a different shape. Or something to that effect. That's probably oversimplifying it immensely, but... I don't claim to understand the forces we're dealing with, to be entirely honest. Oh, I agree with you there! Which is probably part of the problem. So, uh, what happens now? Do you, do you not dragon anymore? I have removed that power from him. You shall no longer partake in the power of dragons, Nick Nack. Can you do the same to Jurganath and Elder Watcher? Not when they have already become dragon themselves. When you're still taking your first steps, starting to become a dragon, it is still a reversible process. But once it's completed, you can't Turn back. I, I I see, but but what happens to all the Titan essence that Nick Nack used? Well, Nick Nack. Yes. Have you any last word for your colleagues? Huh? No? I... I don't like you anyway, bye bye. Uh, what? <laughs> Very well then. I do not like the levity with which you deal with such matters. I labored for centuries to m allow dragons to return into this world. And you play around with that power as if it were mere toys. This kind of hubris, this kind of attitude, it's not... Acceptable 
in this world. I'm sorry for those of you around you who will feel the loss of you, but I have decided to smite you down. And you, the Nick blizzard Nick? lifts his oh. hands, and you see yeah. that he's making a motion to go to attack you, but then, just as he's about to calm down, uh, you see that he stops and looks off into the distance. Uh, somewhat in a familiar direction. At this point, all of you kind of more or less in shock or not. You look at the same direction he's looking, and from this point in the academy, like at the edges of it, uh, looking over the balcony, you can oversee the the city of Mergen all down, all the way down there, at the bottom of the hill, <clears throat> and. Yurgonard's, or rather, sorry, the Blizzard's in, uh, gaze is intently focused on the city of Mergen. And he immediately turns, he kind of stops what he was doing, he stops executing Nicknack and turns to, to Branislav. That was an abyssal presence. And. Brennislav says, uh, yeah, yes, it, it is, yes. And immediately the blizzard just starts going off on him, kind of raising his voice some. And why did you not tell me anything about it? We know how dangerous this abyssal presence is. And Brennislav says, um, uh... I don't know. I, I'm still trying to pinpoint it down, but this presence kind of keeps coming and going. It's not always there. It's not like everything else we've encountered. This one is different. And the blizzard still looking off into the distance. It's coming from underneath the city. Well, that's not good. There's people down there. I think we had a thing in the sewers where we should go down there anyway. Could investigate? Hmm? What do you know that you're not telling me? I, I don't well, know anything. Um, I think our detective friend was investigating... The cast and bomb Elder or watches oh. cast and bomb thing, and we were gonna have to go under the sewers once he got into that. Yeah, that was what I meant. But that's all we know about it at the moment. We're gonna have to meet him again before anything, though. We didn't know anything about abyssal stuff, which yeah. tells me that the other dragon is having a fun time. If you don't execute him, we could go and look for you. Uh, I might just raise the city to the ground. An abyss of presence is... No! Now why would you do that? You do not There's know people... what you're meddling with. Abyss of presences are nothing to scoff at. I'm not saying that there is or isn't. But there are people down there. And if they're in trouble, we've got to rescue them. There's a community that's there. He looks at Brennislav and Brennislav says, He's not wrong. We're, we're still looking into it. Uh, if it's underneath the city now, we can focus our searches there. Figure it out, you know. And then the blizzard says, <laughs> I've changed my mind. Who's that? I will not be raising the city down now, but instead 30 days you from You are now, going to raise the city down? You are. Count yourselves lucky. You have a month to learn about this abyssal presence and deal with it. Or evacuate the city, whichever you end up doing. 
but in a month, if these abyssal presences are still here, I will erase the city from the map. All right, I guess I'll take that. Question mark. Yeah, massive destruction wasn't really on my itinerary for ever. So let's go deal with that. Mm -hmm. I'll see if I find time in my calendar, I guess. If you truly think you can deal with this, well, might as well talk to your Gonad and Elder Watcher and explain the situation. Branislav, explain to them the dangers of Abyssal Presences. And I'll be making preparations to make sure whatever is here does not spread a month. And then he raises his hand, casts another spell and just disappears into thin air. That guy, huh? Boy, That's... he's a thing, isn't he? That's going to play havoc with our academic schedule, I swear. No consideration whatsoever. I don't think there is time for jokes, Nick Nack. So I almost on? got splatted on the ground. Yes, I and you just have to joke about some massive destruction I'm, event. I'm allowed levity when I'm recovering from trauma. You always have levity. <laughs> so, Branislav, what what is this abyssal presence thing? I mean, we hadn't heard anything about it. Um, I've told you a thing about the biz in Corund, right? Yes. Well, normally abyssal creatures stay in the abyss. Sometimes they manage to come out. Um, it's never it's good when they do. Uh, well, good for them for sure, but not for us. They, these abyssal creatures, they're antithetical to well, life as it is. They have a complete disregard for what we understand as life and what's important and society and progress, all kinds of things. Their existence is an anatma to everyone in Gundra. <laughs> If I recall correctly, these abyssal presences are drawn to powers such as that of titans. Thankfully, titans are not themselves abyssal presences, but um, from what I have heard, this mm, ritual that you perform at the places of power, they can summon these abyssal presences. Oh, that was what those things were. I think we were told that last ritual. I, I do not think, think even I know we were told that. I don't we think the term abyssal. I don't think abyssal presence was the term that was thrown around, but yeah, demons I from the abyss. I mean, kind of kind of the same. Why don't they just say demon then? Yeah. Well, depends on who told you that information. Not everyone knows about the abyss. And exactly everything that entails to it. Mm. But that might mean that below the city, that probably means that Elden Watcher is doing stupid. Well, that does seem like a logical conclusion of sorts, I would imagine. Oh, Lord, it's always him doing stuff all the time! Why can't he just keep his fingers out of things? Well, abyssal presences, they, or uh, just abyssal creatures altogether, they. Imagine if one single living thing, or living, and he makes air quotes, held the knowledge of the stars. 
and was able to manipulate matter and time itself. Things beyond our comprehension even. Some people would rightfully be deathly afraid of it and want nothing to do with it. Others, those, you know, with a little bit more ego boosting their actions, such as dragons, might think that they have what it takes to control such things. So... It wouldn't be for Why dragon seems to be an issue? I've been asking that myself for the past several decades. But, it is what it is. I think the universe... I think uh, dragons probably require drama to live. Yes, that, is, the, that is the fuel that powers the universe. Not magic, or science, or nature, but drama. You're not too wrong there, Nick Knack. Like it or not, only living things can, you know, be susceptible to drama. And what are dragons, if not things that are larger than life itself? In a matter of speaking. Several manners of speaking. When such a life can span over so many kingdoms and so many lives yeah it, the amount of drama it can can have is uh, kind of overwhelming uh, but in any case you mentioned a detective person who's looking into the undergrounds yeah he was looking into Lady Kastenbaum's uh, network of teleportations and stuff and how it's connected with Elder Watcher and uh, he was supposed to get back in touch with us soon. I think he was more interested in the criminal underworld, but... True. I'm sure of that. Uh, it's probably related, though. Well, I think this detective person, whoever they are, they might be... They might hold some important information about the, the underground. That does seem to be where this abyssal presence is coming from. So, um. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose it would be good for you to, well, look for him. Ask for information. As for me, I'll. Well. I suppose I'll try to. Think about how to go about telling Yurganod about, you know. The city being destroyed in a month. Do you want me to tell him for you? Well, I wouldn't mind having some wardens around. I mean, despite being a professor here, I'm still, you know, a foreigner who just showed up a couple months ago. Sure. And I mean, I saw the warning as well, so. Well, I'll. I'll I'll try and prepare some kind of proof or information or anything that can help persuade him. But we still can't tell him about the blizzard, right? Uh, well, I mean, how are you going to tell him that the city is going to be destroyed without telling what is destroying the city? Uh, the city is going to be destroyed in 30 days. That's all we really have to say. <laughs> Well, if don't think you'll be taken seriously without any proofs. Trust me, bro. Source. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna, from what I've known of him, that he'll be easily swayed and convinced just by, you know, a few academics' words. Maybe if we have evidence of the of the abyssal presence itself, we can show it to him. Oh, then again, I find that hard to acquire. Well, in any case, if we need to tell him about the blizzard, I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. The blizzard didn't seem against it. It told us to, you know, ask them for help. All right. Well, I, 
well, I've been working for the Blizzard for a few decades now, but this is the first time he actually said I'll raise a city. I mean, it said well, so before, and, and, kind of in a joking manner, but never like this. And threatened to blow up Knickknack. Yeah, that's I'm starting true. to think that the levity at which he toys with concepts such as human lives is a problem. Well, I'm really sorry, Knickknack. I did not see this coming at all. No, neither did I. Was expecting him to stay an entire continent away. So, so how do you feel? I mean, after he pulled whatever that was out of you, tingly, 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 really? I don't know. I find I mean, my mind feels clear enough to come up with some interesting concepts. I mean, we saw the power flow back into you, so it did something. We didn't see anything. Oh, I thought we did. I thought we saw the little motes of we energy did. go no. back into uh, yeah. it. Only if you had the glasses. Ah, got it. Well, you didn't feel anything go into you. Yeah, I didn't feel anything that, you know, like normally when we kill a titan or anything. So it, it went somewhere. I think it went back to me. Well, um, that aside... Yeah, we better get cracking, otherwise this town's gonna be destroyed. Yes, but also, I know that you're, you know, young and full of spunk and ready to take on the world, but abyssal presences are dangerous. There is a chance you might not make it out alive in which case it would be good for you to also think on a retreat strategy or well to evacuate the community or the people of here unless you are so confident in your abilities that you think you can indeed take this abyss of presence but well it pays to be prepared or so you've learned well, it does. I, I agree with you there, and uh, but I think that Jorgenod would be able to uh, uh, maybe help us with uh, the evacuation. Uh, definitely Elder Watcher. God, I don't want to talk to him. <laughs> well, great, no. so you'll talk to him alone. All right, I'll talk to him. What? Why not? We have such great rapport together. I told him last time, cheerio, in a bad way. Like it or not, uh, the cast and bones could be responsible for all of this, but in case they're not, there's, you know, they have teleportation services. They can easily just teleport everyone in the city away. Yeah, true. That they could. So that's something to look into, I would say. All right. I suppose we need to go and talk to him now. Well, I'm just throwing ideas. I think the first thing we should do is, uh, well, you should do is look into this detective friend of yours. Yeah, I mean, something may have gotten him by this point. Uh, I mean, he said that he was going to look into a few things and then contact us again. And we said we were going out on an adventure and we would be back. Yeah, didn't you just come back yesterday? We yeah. did. Well, yeah. Maybe uh, he didn't have the time to find you yet. Yeah. It's only been like two days since we... Or I guess four days since we left. So I don't think he's gotten eaten in that time. I hope he's not gotten eaten in that time. Well, nonetheless, I hope you don't mind if I do not go along. I don't think a filthy criminal like myself would do well next to a detective. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Eh, I'll prefer to take my chances elsewhere. Worst thing that could happen is I ruin your chances of acquiring information, and 
Honestly, there's far too many lives riding on this all going according to plan. I see, and mail is here today! Well, while you sort that out, um... I think I'm just going to go and start looking into... Some kind of proposal or way to convince uh, you're gonna add that he should work with us. If that can even happen, who knows. Nonetheless, hmm. Well, I have um, did not see this coming at all. I'm tremendously sorry for all that has been incurred upon you all as a group. And especially to you, Nick Nick. I have had people threaten my life before. And I know it's not fun. And I'm sorry. Otherwise, um. Well, best of luck. And, uh. You know, if everything goes down very, very, very poorly. There's a few places in Nolan, especially in the south, where, you know, the free colonies, you can always move there, along with whoever else lives here. But I'm sure you don't want to hear about this. And anyway, take care, and good luck. And Professor Brennislav departs, and you see that there's a certain stiffness with which he walks. He's definitely absorbed in thought. But that aside, it's almost true in the afternoon, the rest of the day is yours. What are you guys doing? Well, we don't even know where the detective is, let's be honest. We could just go down. Can't exactly there. see it in the white too. Let's start talking with people, then. Because mm -hmm. we can surely find him somewhere. It's what, uh, Detective Welker? I mean, he tends to find us when we go into town, so... We could start there. Alright, then we should head to Mergen. Alright. So all of you, then... Get on your merry out and about everyday clothes and take the lift down to Mergen. Because I imagine you are you are somewhat pressed for time. So if everyone could go ahead and please pay one silver coin for riding the lift. Mm -hmm. One silver coin. Mm -hmm. Ching. Uh, Goodbye, silver. Hardly knew uh, you. Where's my inventory? There it is. Oh no, I don't have any silver. Awful. You'll have to get change. Ugh. Well, nonetheless, all of you pay your <clears throat> one silver for the lift and go down into yep. into Morgan. And I assume you're all going out looking for Detective Welker. That's it. Uh, ask around. Uh, see if anybody's seen him. Well, it doesn't take too long before several persons point you towards sorry, points you towards the tavern where the handsome tiefling is is at. And... Well, not that long afterwards, you do come into a tavern and you do find a detective Beno Welka there, who just seems to be pouring over um, a, a mug of ale, some documents, 
and a map of the city. And then he sees you all coming up and he says, Well, look if it isn't my favorite, well, quartet. What have you got going on today? We're trying to save the town before it gets blown up! Go on. There's there's evidently some abyssal presence or something here. And there is a powerful force in the land that says that this has got to go. Otherwise, the town will be vaporized. And we have a month. A presen presence in the land. Yeah, just uh, go with it for right now. We're not going to say anything more about that, but it's it's something that can definitely do it. He's very touchy about us giving people specifics. Yeah, but no pressure about the month thing, right? Well, whoever he is, I'll make sure then to keep that in mind. So... So it is going to get exploded in a month. Um, yep, unless we deal with the problem that's under the city. Have you heard anything about abyssal presences under the city? Not about abyssal presences, but I have heard things about the undergrounds. I've been looking into that, like I said I would, and well, I've come up with some answers... Several of which are not very, well, great. I, I assume you have the time if you're... There, yeah, I look around. Is there any Elder Watcher watching me? Um, Got a multiple now, oh no. <laughs> there was... Oh no, he's all the Watcherling you. There was when you... Uh, the Watcherlings. Watch out when you're watching, pal. Uh, when you just came out of the lifts in the central square, you did see the Elder Watcher there just, as always, talking to the people of the town. And then he looked off into the distance directly towards your direction and just kept watching until you went off in some other alleyways and started uh, asking for the detective. Got it. He does I wonder not if he just phone. knows... I right, wonder if he just knows our general location if we're within like 150 feet of him. That would be a power. So, here. And he kind of invites you all to sit down at the table and pulls up a map of the town and says, all right. I've been looking around and there are many, many entrances to the subway. Some of which are in town itself. Definitely there's the main entrance to the subway, or not the subway, the underground, the sewers. That's what I meant to say. It's um, a little bit up to the... Well, there's the northwest entrance, the water processing area of town. There's also the... Sewer administration here downtown, not hard to find. Problem is actually getting there. That's where the problem lies. It's a an official place. By official, I mean if you're not part of the administration of the city, you have no reason being there. And me not being from Mergen or being part of the Mergen administration, there's not all I can really do here. <sighs> there's also some wells that uh, have to lead into the sewers. Problem is, they're kind of a tricky entrance point for all ends and purposes, especially with your friend here with the machine. Ah yes, but another thing. Rusty in there. 
another thing I've been finding kinda really awkward is that um, this city, Mergen, has been built by elves and for all the time to come the construction of the city has followed more or less of an el elven architecture which granted makes the underground the sewers impeccable to walk through there's pathways there's <clears throat> inlays on the walls it's a lovely place to get yourself lost in and I say that because being a elven construction they seem allergic to straight lines. Everything's a winding tunnel. I see. So navigating it is more a matter of memorizing the layout of the of the sewers and the undergrounds. Which is kind of fitting. I can see why so so many Well, criminals would find themselves drawn to the underground of Morgan proper. And I have found more evidence that there is indeed some manner of criminal organization underground. They do seem to keep watch of certain passageways and some tunnels and other rooms. Which will make traversing the sewers kind of a dodgy matter. Not at all impossible though. Especially because, like it or not, these bandits, criminals, they serve someone up high. And I don't think they would like to die for this someone that they're serving. They, which is to say, I think they could easily be bribed. Then again, I don't know how, ah. how much money would you need to bribe an entire criminal organization out of the underground. And also, technically, I can't bribe anyone legally, you see. That's where you come in. Because you're a detective, yes. Furthermore, there's reports of rat folk around the city of Mergen, and yet none of them actually take residence here. Or rather, some do, but the amount that is reported to be seen versus the amount that are reported to actually live here are too great. Uh, discrepancy and watchmen at the gates don't really see that many rat folk coming in or out so imagine they're in the underground now hmm. yes where or why it's anyone's guess at this point <clears throat> another thing too I found is that technically The sewers do go all the way to the to our esteemed hosts um, area. You know whom I speak of. Yes. Problem is that's what we've been Castle Town. Getting there is even through the sewers is particularly difficult. they they have their own administration going on over there, and I don't think they're keen on letting anyone else. Well, unauthorized walked down in the undergrounds. But... Sure, and they may be up to some their own shenanigans under there. And I think these people will be much harder to bribe, if they are even susceptible to that at all. So, alas, that's all the information I have currently. Oh, well, there is all another as well. If you're not too keen on... Well... Getting a little bit dirty. I think the best way to go into the... To go into the underground would be to... Bribe one of the many tavern keeps here, or arrange some kind of deal with them to let let uh well for them to let you use their underground passage i've learned that several many of these tablet 
establishments, the taverns and whatnot, uh, instead of shipping all of their goods on the street level, like everyone does, they do use a series of underground rivers, the sewers, to ship uh, things back and forth. Hmm. So you I guess that would be an easy way of getting things around without them being seen. Well, that's true. And I don't think they're very keen on telling me exactly what it is that they're uh, shipping all around. And to a certain point, I also don't think it matters that much compared to you, what you know whom is doing. So, those are some avenues of investigation. Unfortunately, none of which I can do on my own. Not unless I want to risk my life and, you know, become a footnote in the obituaries tomorrow. And we definitely don't want that. Have you heard anything about demons or devils or anything in the sewers? Demons? Yeah. Hmm. Funny you mention it. I did hear talk about zombies, actually. Zombies? Yes. I, I hate it when people flush their zombies down the toilet. Always get stuck down in the sewers, yes. Yeah, and then they grow to full size. But that's the weird part. There should not be any zombies in the city, as far as I understand. Necromancy of that kind is outlawed in Solfac. So the fact that there are zombies down in the sewers or there have been some zombies reported does seems to mean that either well people are flushing their zombies down the toilet or they're getting in from somewhere. I've no doubt that there's more entrances to the underground network that I have not yet found. Not true. Doug, are there any graveyards in this city? Graveyards, let me think about that. Uh, yes, as a matter of fact, there's a graveyard in Coppertown. It's on the right. southeastern sa uh, portion of the city. Because usually if there's if there's zombies around, some they're somehow connected with the graveyards. And as a matter I mean, of fact, it that is, is the most efficient way to get a corpse. True. That is also where the zombies have been reported to be shown, but, or to have appeared. But I find it very, very, very odd, as it happens usually. The. The, the graveyard and the mausoleum, they're guarded. There are people who go there, priests and whatnot, who are constantly keeping watch. Especially to make sure necromancy doesn't happen. It's a hollowed ground even, so... Yes, but all you need is somebody paid off, and then the next thing you know, you've got zombies. Well, either paying someone off, or... We have some very dedicated grave robbers who are pulling those corpses and taking them elsewhere through the underground tunnels and animating them elsewhere. Mm, could be. Maybe, but that's a bit far-fetched, I guess. Agreed. Also, there's the question of why are there zombies at all? Who's making them and for what reason? Although, I don't... Well... I can't really say anything, but I do find it odd that the zombies have appeared in Copper Town, which is on the southeastern corner of of the city, and Castle Town is on the northeast side of the city. They're in complete opposite corners. Well, not a complete opposite, but well, north and south at the corners. They're right, far right. away from one another. So I don't know if they have much to do with our other investigation, but there's your answer. That's Got it. all I've heard about monsters uh, in the undergrounds. 
Well, I think we should maybe go and look around the graveyard and talk to the people that are guarding there. But I may need to change some spells first. Mm -hmm. That would be uh, tomorrow. Yes. Need the good old enemy dead spell. No, I need the, the force you to tell the truth spell. Anti-zombie bullets, yes, yes. Oh, none, nonetheless, one last entrance I do know of, one that you could easily go into. It's uh, particularly unguarded, the entrance itself, though it's the furthest one away from town, and the path to get into town is kind of weird, would be the waterfall entrance. Why did I think of the waterfall? I was like, oh lord. Though... I know who we can talk to who spends a lot of time over at the waterfall. Oh, you have a contact. Well, I, I, mean, I don't think that he's like a part of the bad guys, but he might have seen something because he hangs out there a lot. Hmm. Good to know. Well, nonetheless, I mentioned it only because it's the only entrance that I know of that is outside of town. Or outside, as it is, being near behind the waterfall. But that entrance is kind of kind of tricky, you see. Once you get into there, then you go to the there's a long tunnel winding as elven construction is wanted to be then you will wind up in the measure hydro water collection plant which will siphon the water under the river into the city proper and from there it's distributed uh, from the water processing center So how do they pull the water out? Is it like magic or mechanical? Huh. I don't get paid enough to know that, unfortunately. Oh, well, I thought I would ask. But the... I suppose that the name Magi Hydro implies that it's a little bit of both. Got it. I didn't really look that deeply into it. I was mostly concerned with how one could enter through the waterfall and then make your way further inside the underground tunnels unnoticed. If I assume there will be workers there working. And they would find the least suspicious for a group of people to enter. Got it. Well, unfortunately, that's all the information I have. Well, thanks a lot. Uh, I mean, it gives us something to go on now. Sure. Always happy, well, to be happy. always happy to be of assistance. And also, like always, if you have any clues of anything else that is going on, I would very much like to know anything that helps us catch you know whom. Yes, I do. We get our little friend uh, a bit farther away from going to jail and spending a lifetime there for the crimes committed against the people of Belden. Alright, so after we kind of finish up there, I go and talk to Lex and I say, hey, uh... Maybe we can talk to Ash, since he hangs out at that waterfall all the time. Maybe he's seen something. If it's the same waterfall, yes. Yes, yeah. we're talking different ones. Yeah, sure. Uh, there is only one waterfall in um, Emergen. All right. Then to Ash it is. There's the river that flows from all the way up in the hills. Uh, it kind of flows next to, to the academy and then 
that's where the waterfall breaks, the river breaks into a waterfall, and then at the bottom, that's where the city of Mergen is. Ah, oh, alright. So you're seeking ash? Correct. Two ashes, I mean, yes, looking for ash. Alright, you get back into the Jeez. lift. Another silver piece. Another silver piece as you ride the lift up back into the academy. And also, in case you do bother to watch as you're leaving the city of Mergen, kind of, kind of, in a somewhat hushed, rushed state, um, Elder Watcher does seems to be kind of waving goodbye to you. I wave. We'll be back. We need to talk. Shouts no while back across town, across the square, rather. So, you ride all the way back up to the academy, and you look around the waterfalls, and fair enough. You do find Ash there. And Ash is surprised to see you all together. More so, especially because uh, Ash and Lex were at the, the library studying together, until suddenly Vice breaks into the into the library and says, We gotta go, now, and then pulls Lex away. Get in his. the car, no time to explain. You're grabbed now. You can't escape. So, for all intents and purposes, Ash did not know what, what to expect, other than your friends are calling out for you, so you might as well be getting on the, on the ship and flying away for who knows how long. So he is mm -hmm. rather surprised to see you back. Like, for 30 days! <laughs> right. He's rather surprised to see you back in like an hour. And also somewhat unsure on how to behave himself when your friends are around and he just kind of looks at everyone and then back at you. Oh, hi, Lex. Hi, I just couldn't stay away. And then I awkwardly wink at him. <laughs> Uh, Folks aside, we need your waterfall expertise. We are looking for zombies in the sewers. Don't, no questions. Get in. <laughs> really, absolutely. Uh, Perfectly summarized, honestly. That sentence cool. did no, no foreplay. Ten out of ten, yes. That sentence absolutely did not no foreplay. <laughs> I was. Uh, I was expecting you to ask me about diving off of waterfalls, and I was going to say no, but zombies in the sewers. You mean that day, right? Down uh, in Mergen. Huh. I don't know anything about that. Although, have you have you ever seen anyone like skulking around here, and maybe like? Entering the waterfall and then not coming out? Well, I did think I see a ghost once. G -g 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 the only 5G he's afraid of. No! <laughs> I was hanging down by the waterfall back down in Mergen. And then I looked over to the waterfall and I saw something white. It looked humanoid coming out. I looked at it, kind of got spooked. It it seemed like the ghost also got spooked and went back into the waterfall. I tried to look a little bit into it and I didn't find much. But um, I don't know that it was a ghost or not. There was some white fur around. White fur. Mm. So, like your fur? Um, I, I am correct that he is the albino no, no, right? Yes, yes. Okay, good. Well, not quite albino, more so just white and grayish. Okay. He's, he still has like a regular colored eyes. Gotcha. Well, kind of like my fur, but it didn't seem to come from an owl. Seem to come from something smaller. Maybe like a rat folk? Oh my god, a food cobalt? No. A rat folk. 
Same thing. Hmm. Odd. Could have been a rat folk. I'm not all that familiar with them. But it's rumored that a lot of them like live in the underground underneath Mergen. I think I've heard that rumor before. But I, I thought it was just silly nonsense. But that would make sense. Wait, does that mean there's a secret passageway in the waterfall to the sewers? Uh, that's what I'm thinking. There should be one over here somewhere. Well, I usually don't... I usually don't get too close to the waterfall all the time. I mostly just stay by the river, kind of watching the waterfall from a distance. When I get too close, it's too loud. What with the water breaking on the rocks. And... I can't really stand to stay that close to the waterfall for that long a time. No, I can understand. But, if there is any kind of secret entrance, that would be kind of the perfect place for there, there to be one. With how loud the waterfall is, nobody would see you coming in or out. Or hear you, at least. Fair. Maybe, maybe you could point out the area and we can go and scout it out. Oh, sure. Or you could come and tag along, you know? Could be fun. Tag along? Are you going to the sewers yourselves? We kind of have to... Uh... We hear good things about them. That's yeah, not a good thing you said. That. It's definitely not dangerous. Bad things will happen if we don't. Let's put it like um, It is dangerous, Ash, but... We have to do it, otherwise you you can keep a secret, right? <laughs> well it's not more or less. The city of Mergen might be destroyed in thirty days if we don't find out what's going on. Ah yes, I should have opened with that, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> he looks kind of squinting at your face while Dex trying to see if you're for pulling his leg or something, but then he realizes that you're actually being serious. I've got my real serious halfling face on. What have you gotten yourselves into? It's not what we've gotten into, it's what the town's gotten into. And you're the one who has to solve it. We're trying. We've got all their people that are trying to solve it as well, but we have to be proactive in this one. What's going to destroy the city? Is, this, uh, is there something, it's something big, something large, and something that hates something that's under the town? Wait. That's really all I can say. Don't push me. Something that hates specifics. Yes. Yeah. So, Which is very irritating. It's... Wait, I thought there was something under... In the sewers that was going to explode and kill the town, but it's not that? Oh no! No, it's something bad down there! Uh, that will probably explode and destroy things in more than a month. Yes. And then spread out to everywhere else. Oh, yes. lords. The destroying the city in the month is to preempt that. Well, we have two different world ending scenarios. Don't confuse them. Thank you. Uh, town ending, I guess. <laughs> well, when you said zombies, I thought there were, might be some kind of bad juju going on. Maybe poison or something, but well, at least the people of Morgan are being poisoned, right? As far as I know, I mean, you know, give it time. We're not down there yet. We don't know what's happening. Oh boy. Um Well, um is is this the thing that you want to do, Lex? Of course. I mean, want I have to, but yes. Uh well then. Uh, I'll help her I can. Who's that? That's the spirit. Not a 
NPC has been added to your party list. Thank you. If uh Can we respect him real quick? <laughs> we need a tank. <laughs> Where's Withers? Yes. I have fifty gold or whatever. If um if you're if you're going anywhere, just let me know and I'll try and tag along. Alright. Uh but by the way, you said that this will destroy the town in thirty days? Yep, thirty days. Huh. I know this is kinda very different magnitudes, but you do know classes that starts in four days, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh we're, yeah, we're playing the bigger fish to fry game. We're playing the urban fantasy story of juggling the school life with saving the world. It's wonderful. Ah, uh, it's Persona. Okay. Persona. Well, all right. Well, then. wait. You're the only one who's playing Persona. Summoner. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Well, before we go down in there, I need to prepare myself, and I pull out a coin, and I flip it into the air, and it, like, just kind of holds there and spins for a second. There's no way that's It's normal. been spinning for five minutes now. What's going on? And yep. I cast Lucky Number. Ooh. Oh. Is it 69? My number is two. Oh. It's not 69. Damn it. Ah, yeah, the, you now have the that's my number reaction. Yep, that's my number reaction I have that I can use. Which basically, which basically lets me uh, replace a number. Specifically two. Yes. Yes. Specifically, two. I see. Okay. So if you roll two again, you can re-roll. But if you roll a two again, you critically fail. Whatever you were trying to do on a non-secret check. Gotcha. Correct. So it's a good thing you didn't roll a twenty. Correct. <laughs> Okay, so for the time being, Ash is joined you and is tagging along for whatever else you have got going on for the remainder of the day. Woo! So what are you doing? Immediately going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> what? These wow! No, we're mm -hmm. going for the waterfall! A tree in the no bed with Ash? Sadness. We're going to have to pay to use the gondola again, aren't we? Stop. Enough. This gondola is going to make me poor. So you're going down to Mergen again? Yes. All right. One more silver coin as you ride down the, the lift. Wait, 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 wait. I, I mean... thought we were going to go in through. I thought we were going in through the waterfall. You can't but go that... from the top. Oh, oh, to oh. Down. all right. Yes. I mean, right. you can, but you'll probably die. Yeah, you would have to dive from the waterfall in it. Yeah. It's a considerable height from the top of the, the hill to the bottom. My character is a spiteful little gremlin. Can I not pay one silver and just well slow down with my wings slowly? So, so I don't have to pay the academy more. I paid mine. Sure, Lex, you can save up on one <laughs> silver piece by jumping <laughs> off and gliding down. Um... It's so about sending a message, okay? <laughs> sure. It's, it takes you more or less about the same time as it does for the lift. But it's... Um, it's kind of daunting to do that as a thing. Not not only that, you can only glide, glide downward. So you try your best to land more or less where the, where the lift would end anyways. And... Yeah. All the time that you're gliding, you're just kind of, yeah, all right, I'm chilling here, just kind of opening your your gargoyle wings, gliding down. But all the rest of you who are inside the, the lift going down, 
the gondola thing, you just see Ash is kind of heads and palms pressed against the window, just kind of hyperventilating as you see Lex gliding downwards. <laughs> it's okay, he can fly! Glide, you well, mean. Well, oh, you can, th can do that. But what if he passes out and... What if he gets blown away by wind, or... Oh, he's fine! He's done this before! He's so small, what if a hawk yep. attacks him? I don't think he's that small. Smallish. He is smallish, but we're here, we would do something. Inside of the gondola? Rocks. Yes. We're so far away. And he kind of keeps still hyperventilating with his face and palms okay. pressed against the window. It's okay! And I do know that your peace of mind is worth one silver. Yeah, I've, I'm slowly regretting that. Um, um, he only calms Alex down just for... waves at Ash from a distance and smiles. It seems like everything's fine. Don't worry. You look, you look uh, worried. He only seems to truly, really calm down when the, the lift actually stops at the bottom, and he sees that you have landed safely. And he just kind of, as soon as the door opens and the the the, the guard rails kind of part to allow people to safely exit the gondola, he's just dashing towards you and once it gets to you uh uh boy i forgot his name ash can't help himself <laughs> but you kind of just grab you into a super tight bear hug and go oh you're you're safe you're safe and then he oh, really uh, catches hey. himself and lets go of you and steps back um you're i thought you were I was I worried. Two question mark. Been a one, huh? Next time, glide into the side of the gondola and just hang on to the outside. Yeah, I could have done that, I think. Or sit on top, I guess. Or don't do it. Come or on. pay one silver, whichever. Are, are, are you fine? Are you okay? Yes. I have wings for a reason, yes. Sorry, it's kind of cute, but also, I'm having second thoughts about bringing you. But okay. <laughs> oh, Just so you know, Broadway keeps getting hit, and sometimes I pass out, but we have a capable healer, so don't worry about it. I'm fine. Survived so far. <laughs> well, I've heard tales of battle and people going through all kinds of fights and surviving only by... A train, a thin tread, but have you have you ever been in battle, Ash? Well, I've sparred once or twice in the range with some of the guys, not actually right. out in the field. But oh. one one thing is to you know be attacked by someone and defending yourself, and another thing is for you to willingly jump off of a waterfall. Eh. Don't. And just, just be careful, all right? All right, all right. And if you don't feel up, I feel like fighting because of experience or something. Uh, you don't have to. It's fine. You can just uh, come with us and stay out of trouble. Oh, I can't handle my own. Besides, if, if you're fighting anything, whatever it is, I assume. You know, it's better with more numbers. You yes, know. but don't get killed. Yes. I'll try to get blast. killed. I, I mean, you said we're just going to look into some zombies in the sewer, right? Uh, Emma's last word, huh? Well, I would be more concerned, but we have a holy man of Pasperon here, don't we? True. Yeah! Well, from my <laughs> understanding of all the ballads I've read and everything. You can't really go wrong with having a holy man in your group. That's right! I'll take my grimoire and I'll say, what do you think is going to happen, we grow? Wow. Let's just have a... Let's just do a bunch of inexplicable things next to Ash while he's here. Yes! <laughs> kind of, I kind of wish I took the feat to make people Scare heal by exploding. 
Come on. So Vigoro just to who's be absolutely confusing. Vigoro who's mostly just kinda watching and absorbing all of this knowledge of all these new things he's seeing after so long. He answers to your question, Vice. Well, I would very like, very much like to know who it is that is hiding the zombies. And what purpose do they have? Are they slaves? Are they workers? Are they trying to exact information? I mean, where's the difference between slaves and workers? Am I right? Well, but it has <laughs> something abyssal to do with it, so. Well, that is uh, definitely odd. Zombies are not at all abyssal. I'm sure there's at least one powerful demon thing in charge of raising the undead. If there is some kind of abyssal force who is able to raise the dead, I would very much like to know about it. Maybe even meet it. Think well, of I doubt it will be a friendly meeting, though. So. Yeah. Even if it ends with their demise, think of how much we'll be able to learn. More necromancy spells for us to fill. Right? Maybe. Right. Just put the book on the demon's face as it dies and it will absorb the magic necromancy juices. That works, right? What? And I yeah, don't know. Indeed, a Ash is kind of just wide-eyed seeing Vice asking a book for information. You don't and have book responding. to now, Vice, but okay. Uh, what? But uh, Ash realizes you think he realizes just whom he's walking with now at this point, like for real. You're more than just your regular academy students. You're wardens. You get into all that kinds of idiot. Or that. <laughs> so you're okay. You're going to the waterfall. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. So you are guided by Ash to the the thing is that the gondola kind of lands uh, in uh, in the Nova Villa part of the academy, which is um, inside the city walls. <coughs> There's a specific area and whatnot for the gondola to stop in. But then you have to leave there and go down to the road that goes that crosses the river and goes into town usually to get to the main square and all that nonsense. But instead of actually taking the road into town, you take the road out of town. Uh, this road out of town, you, you're somewhat familiar with it. It is the road that leads uh, up to the academy in the trek up the hill that takes about an hour but instead of keeping following the road going up the hill to the academy you divert from it and start going northwards kind of going around the outer wall of the the city itself passing through some farmland and whatnot to go into the the base of the, of the waterfall itself It takes uh, Ash a little bit of time, but he eventually guides you to where he thought um, he saw the the ghost. And at this point, it's so loud due to the waterfall sounds that you're hardly able to hear one another or even yourselves. But with, with a good enough amount of shouting and pointing... He kind of directs you to where he saw the the ghost. And you can see that there is indeed, now in broad daylight, you can see better. There is a pathway there that goes kind of even further beyond the waterfall. Oh, maybe if we go down this path. What? Sorry. <laughs> What? 
<laughs> no, I'm just role playing the not hearing part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get it. Ah. Uh. So, all of you start going down this path, and you can see that it's it does seem to be somewhat of a well trodden path. It is somewhat. Okay. It is somewhat abandoned and mostly kind of. Uh, it does. It, there, there's no recent tracks there, especially with the with it being stone. But you can tell that someone definitely kind of sort of carved the path here to make it easy to get to the wherever this path is leading. Oh wow! Can we see any like tracks or anything to? See maybe the creatures that have been coming through here? Boy, this would be a secret survival check with a hard adjustment DC because it's hard to track in stone, according to what the books tells me. Alright. Let's go. A very hard actually. This would be a good time to have activate the sniffer module. Do I get Mm, no. Okay, very good. Also, I want to summon Broadway, just, just in case we get attacked. So. Sure. Broadway is there. Mm. And you're now being attacked. In case you were wondering. That's him rolling. All right. Is anyone else rolling? Secret survival nah. choice. Secret tracks. All right. I'm. I'm trained in survival. Sure. Why not? Uh, boop. So you try to look around for any kind of tracks or things that have been left. Uh that could more so easily mark the path, but you can't really seem to find anything. The okay. the stone is a slick, and you think that just the, the general humidity and the water of the waterfall would have would have cleaned any marks left behind. Right. It was That's worth nice. a try. I thought maybe we would find a tuft of fur or something. But alas, you don't. Yep. So we uh, we uh, continue on our, about our way. You follow yeah. the path and you do get to a door, and this door seems to be uh, made of metal. And next to it, there's a a plaque in common, so everyone can read, which just reads. Actually, let me double check what it reads. Um, Mergin, Mergin's Magic Hydro Water Collection uh, Plant. Only, uh, only official staff allowed. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's continue on and see if this takes us inside. But it's not official thing. stuff. Well, we're on official business. We're wardens. I don't need a sure. permit to wards in there. Yes, I'm. I'm sure Passprom will forgive us for trespassing on basis of not wanting a city to explode. Yes. So you reach to the door handle, kind of <clears throat> push it open, and you can see that it does lead a little bit further inside, kind of to some some form of construction that is built within the rocky walls of the of the hills, but also seems to be going a little bit further down as well. All right, so we're going down sort of underneath the waterfall. Yeah. So, 
let me open up yet another map for you, since I assume you guys are going to be doing a little bit of mapping once again. Was that a cat? <laughs> In the sun? No. Might could have been. One of the other ones has little bells that ring, and I, I I keep time with the bells. You keep time with the bells? Yeah, I know how long it takes for the bell cycle to go through the song. Oh, boy. Look at you. But this is like, you know, dark, dark music. Dark, tunnely music. It means it's ideal for... Massaging people too, because you can keep track of where you are in the process by the, the tones. That's it. I got nothing of what you said. That's fine. I'm just saying things. So the waterfall tunnel entrance is on the northwest corner of the map. I'll tell you that much. So like there? Yeah, there ish. There ish. Got it. Let me drag Broadway, Lex. Nicholas, Rusty, Vice, Wild Ooh, Knight. are we going to see Ash's token? And Ash. All switch the map. Beppy. This is not a battle map. This is just another dungeon mapping map. Got it. Vice, Ash, Sukanti. What? What? Heard me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's fine. I don't understand. Uh, so yeah, you enter there, and it doesn't take far too long before you walk into a large room, and you can see in this large room it is indeed. Uh, you see a lot of, like, machine thingies turning and rotating, and you can see what looks like pumps of some kind. <clears throat> Everything either attached to the walls or the ceilings, and a lot of light emanating from them. Uh, which does seem to be some kind of, indeed, Magic Hydro water collection pump area well that's good I mean the city is getting the water it needs and there are two things you see immediately there's a door on the opposite side that seems to lead elsewhere but there's also a person there who stops on their tracks once they see you it's an elven oh. it's an elven lady she has a hard hat some kind of uh, uniform going on some gloves and she's holding a clipboard and she sees you all coming in and she stops looks at all of you and says um who are you? Uh, we're wardens with the, the university the academy and uh, we're looking for something down here the university academy college yes thank you school yes of, of higher learning. Yes. <laughs> the <Yeah>. kindergarten. <laughs> For gifted youngsters. And burn out kids. The hell are you going on about? <laughs> I don't know! Oh. So Valdraft sent you, huh? Can I see your... Your... Warden Army? badges and... The documents. I guess we show her the warden badges that we have. Yep. We bring those but not the documents. Oh yeah. I got the documents. You got the warden badges uh <clears throat> on session one, by the way. Alright, alright. Yep. Wild, sorry. 
she checks the badges and says, All right. And you, mister? And Ash says, Um... Um... He's here showing us things. He's he's a witness. My, my bed says plus one. Yes. <laughs> she looks at all of you says, um, So you're... So you're not a warden. Only the four of you. And... Where are your documents? Um, no, he's 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 um um warden in training. He's thinking about applying to the program, and I want to make a deception check to see <laughs> <laughs> to convince her that he's part of the gang and he just didn't bring his papers. Sure, roll me a secret deception check, uh, Lex. Secret, he says. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She looks at him and says, mm, well, All right. So, what is the purpose of your visit here then? This is a We're... weekday, you know. The, the, the Magic Hydro water collection system is not open for everyone to just come into. No, I understand, but we've heard reports of people that were down here, and we believe that they are up to no good. So we are here to try to find what they're up to. Have you seen any unusual activity down here? Stuff that doesn't belong? A creature covered with white fur, perhaps. A ghost! Not a ghost. She looks from one to the other as you guys are throwing questions at her, and she just goes, Not that I know of or have noticed. What ill she intent like is, is this what? that you're talking about? What what is, is it? You said there are people down here with ill intent. With ill intent, yes. Something about zombies is what we keep hearing. Zombies in our water processing plant. No such thing. That's time of year. That is what we're hearing. More likely than you think. And we are here to investigate. Hmm. Well, all right then. I'll I'll take you to the administration building, and then we'll issue. We'll. Fill in the reports, log in your visit, and you will um, will assign you a guide to take you through the to the water system. I got All right. Tour. Nice. So she allows you to follow her. Uh, you cross the door on the opposite side. It is a long tunnel. Oh, long-ish. Feels long. Uh, but it kind of goes down, and then keeps going, and then goes back up. And you can feel the humidity in this tunnel. And if you remember well from what Detective Welker said, this is probably the tunnel that goes underneath the river into the city itself. Gotcha. You might want to make that tunnel much shorter, whoever's drawing the map. Oh, much shorter? Yeah. About two squares long. More, more so because this map is not up to scale. Ah. It's just to give you an idea of where, which rooms connect to where. So, you get to another room... This room is unusual in that it's not a square room. It's kind of cavernous and sinuous. It follows the walls they don't... They're worked in, but they're, they are not straight at all. They just kind of wind all over the place. Yeah, something like that. And there's three passageways. Namely, there's one to the... One to the uh, east. The... 
the wall right in front of you. And there's two passages on the wall to your right. So two passages on the south. But you also see that there's even more pumps and whatnots that works here. Uh, the lady, the elven lady who's guiding you, she doesn't tell you anything. But you can tell that this is some continuation of the water processing uh, plant, per se. Well, if she's not going to do the tour, I'll have to do the tour. <laughs> As you can see on your left. The walls are wet. No. And then go moist. Yeah. But she ignores the two passages to the right and she keeps going straight to the next corridor and entering another room. This room does seem a little bit more well built. There the walls are lined with some kind of stone. And it has an a an actual shape of a room than an actual square um, and there seems to be a bunch of people here you'll see other uh, other elves and some gnomes who are just kind of running around fetching paper and whatnot but there's a, st a stairway that leads upwards and she guides you in this staircase going upwards and the by the time you go to this upwards level, you see that there are windows on the walls, and looking through the windows, you can see the city of Mergen outside. Ah, oh, okay. But um, we want it underground. Should wait. Is that the right height for the city? City. Yeah, yeah. You just climbed a lot of stairs. Oh. Um. You didn't climb like a step. You climbed like. Okay. Some serious staircase. -y. So getting upstairs, you um, find yourselves in what looks like an administrative building. And then this elven lady, she takes you guys over to a counter where there's a some kind of clerk who's working there, a somewhat mean-looking gnome, and she says, "Um." <laughs> I have here four students from the academy. They're... Make that five, girl. Sorry. Five <laughs> students of the academy, four of which are wardens, and one warden in training. Yeah. They are here um, to investigate reports about zombies in the system. And then... Mondays, am I right? Sorry. <laughs> the, the gnome starts grumbling, like... Uh, not this zombie thing again. Uh, all right. What's your names? Wait, wait. What do you mean again? Did this happen already? Did somebody come? What's your name? Ah, all right, Lex. Sorry, Jesus. Oh, Lex will Jesus. That? Lex Jesus. Yes. Stone Jesus, even. Knickknack. Brian is already... Stop. I already wrote rules about not making gar gargoyles out of deific figures. God damn it. It's happening again. And uh, Ash introduces himself, but he also kind of trips up as he's introducing himself as a as a vice, says that his name is Brandislav. He kind of stops for a moment and seems unsure whether or not he gives his real name or not, and he just says, Ash. And they write that down. <clears throat> and the, the the grumbly gnome just goes, No last name for you, Ash! And Ash just kind of says, No, that, that's what they call me in the academy. And the grumbly gnome says, Alright, Ash, no. Here to Ash see zombies. Gray? I don't know. Alright. Sign this paper. And he pushes the paper for you. And you can see it's a form with all of your names there uh, penned by him. And the reason of visit just reads uh, Investigation of Zombies. And then there's an area there for you to 
sign uh, your names, signatures, and also a place to put today's date. I'll just sign it. I don't see a problem. Ditto. Sure, with a fake one, since uh, I'm Brian stuff. Hello. Ash also signs his name. And then the day's date is put down as the 3rd of Yabaran. So, you mentioned this zombie thing happening already. Well, who was it? Who, who came looking? And did they find anything? The grumbling gnome looks up and down at you with his squinty eyes and then just shouts, Luke! And you see a fresh-faced uh, <clears throat> halfling guy that comes running. Yes, sir! And the gnome says, These gentlemen are going to investigate the sewers. Guide them wherever they need to go. They want to see the zombie thing. And Luke says, All right, all right. Uh, hi, everyone. I'm Luke, and I will be your guide today for um, whatever it is you guys need. Perfect. Hi. Right. Let's go. And the elven lady, she just she goes towards Luke and whispers something uh, to him. And then Luke. Oh, I wish I had a good hearing. Uh, Luke just nods. All right, all right. And then. She just kind of gives him a, a, a tap on the shoulders and he goes down and starts follow, uh, leading you all. All right, uh, we can come down here. All right. And he goes down the stairs back to the to the room where you saw all of the gnomes and the elves uh, working on stuff. The, the cavern room? No, there's some kind of room shaped got stone. Got it, okay. Got it, got it, got it. It's the same building vertically. Gotcha. But they guide you there. So, Luke, uh, how many times have you done this zombie tour before? Because it sounds like it's usual business at this point. Tour? I've not done the tour before. It's There has been a detective that came asking about zombies. And, um, well, some people have been hearing disturbances too. You don't know there's some 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 of the undergrounds connect to wells and to some shops as well, right? Uh, we hear complaints every now and then, like once every four months, give or take, that uh, people hear grumbling coming from deep within the wells or the tunnels, and then we go in and investigate. And often it's someone who got lost, trapped, or zombies. Zombie. Well, zombies are much less frequent. It only happened like twice. Was there areas that the zombies were in? Oh yeah, more oh. frequently. All the way over to the to the mausoleum. It's all all the way oh. across town. Gotcha. That but, makes uh, sense. But, but you know, I this kind of official business they don't like us, you know, going dealing with this thing on the street level. So we do it on the underground. But it's fine. I hope none of you are claustrophobic, right? Uh no, I don't think so. I don't dislike anybody named Klaus, no? <laughs> Only Santa. Sorry. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. I, you'll be fine, just... Uh, just be careful of your footing, uh, especially you there with the, the big robot thing. Just be careful because the the water here is kind of... Uh, so you don't wanna you wanna you don't want it dripping on you, and also whenever we get to some other parts where there's the actual sewers, you do not want to fall into the water. It can get a little bit yucky, even though there are great grates that will mostly stop you from falling into it. It's still you know good to avoid being in the splash zone whenever there's any discharge happening. Uh, if you need any help at any point, just let me know. My name, like I said, is Luke. Just call me. Luke, I have a problem. And then we'll talk it out, okay? Did you get all that? All just right. call you, yep. Luke, I have a problem. That's a weird second name, but okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Luke, I have a problem. Nah, you can just call me Luke, it's fine. Alright. So, 
Uh, this way, please. And in this room that you are, the some kind of room-shaped stone, there's another door that leads uh, down south. So, and he takes you through that door. It's a long corridor that, like all of wooden construction, is beautiful to look at, but confusing AF because it's it starts going straight but then it stops being straight and goes a little gay starts kind of angling cornering and becoming fully round at some point but before that you see that immediately after you leave the room there's a door to your right that leads somewhere but Luke keeps getting you following this corridor eventually this corridor kind of gets on a crossroad uh, four directions as always so north west east and south uh, southwest and then he leads you through the path southwest and therein you find a room once you get to this room you see that much like the other room this is apparently the basement of some kind of uh, administrative building Okay. And Luke just says, "This here is the the entrance from the center square um, bureau of the water treated plant." Ah, okay. So I don't know if it felt like it, but we walked all the way over there from Milltown over over to here to Central Square. So now we're gonna keep walking just a little bit further. We're gonna go past through Southgate, and then we'll end up in Copper Town. All right. All right. Oh. Also, huh, I know that walking a lot can make you guys thirsty, but if you ever feel thirsty, do not drink any of the water found here. Even the well. Oh even, yeah. Even the even the water from the wells. Please do not drink any water that has not been treated properly yet. Did you get that? Yes. You. Yep. Thank you. Uh huh. So, here, this way. So, in this basement of the building, there's one door in each direction. A, a door leading south, east, and west. The door north, that is the one you came from. <coughs> but he just goes straight ahead, leading you to the door uh, south. It leads to a corridor that is not at all straight. It's completely curved. And it curves in an odd way. And as it goes curving, it branches to the right, to somewhere, but keeps going, following this curve. And then once it gets to the end, you find yourselves in another curved corridor that turns right and left. He takes you right, turning right in this corridor, and you keep following it, and it keeps winding down. To hold, some hold on. Hold on, you, you're you're getting too fast for us. Sorry. So once again, leading the basement of the Central Square administrative building. On the south side, there's a door that leads to a corridor that is completely curved. It seems to be curving leftwards. All right, there's no easy way to draw curves. Yeah, that's it. That's how you have to do it. I'm well, drawing pants. No, no. Got it. Left words from the direction you're looking. Then it there's a there's a turn to the right, but he ignores that turn. Keeps going through this tunnel that keeps turning left. And then it ends uh, into another tunnel. And this you can see that is an actual sewer. Uh, okay, this is a sewer. But it's still a tunnel. This tunnel turns left and turns right. It takes you to the passage right. And keeps going. Following that tunnel. As you keep walking a little bit... Wait, 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 wait. Alright, so we got left and right, and we turned right. Mm-hmm. Um, this tunnel 
keeps winding and curving and you can tell that it keeps curving leftwards more and more. I don't know that any of you have any spells to know direction or anything of the sort. Not of things like that, no. Nope, nope. All right. So at this point, you're completely turned around. You have no idea what direction you're going towards, except for the fact that the... Remember, if we're facing south, right is left. Ah, 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 ah. Except for the fact that um, Luke mentioned that you were in Mill Town, that is on the northwest side of town. Then you went down to Central Square, which is at the center of town, and then you right, were the administrative building. Yeah. Then you were going down to South Gate, at the south part of town, and then eventually ending up in Copper Town, right, which is on the southeast side of town. Which is why this path that turns right goes there. So... <clears throat> you turned right, kept following the tunnel, and at the tunnel keeps turning left, curving left, and Luke says... Alright, this is important. You guys really have to stay close because now there's a bunch of passageways that will lead into all kinds of places. It's really easy to get lost in here, so do not wander off, please. Alright. And you can indeed tell that as you're following this tunnel, it kind of does this very long curve and eventually it goes straight again. But as it's going straight, there is immediately a turn to the right that leads into another corridor. That is, unfortunately, far too dark for you to be able to see anything. Then it keeps going straight ahead. And there's a, a branch that kind of turns left at a 45 degree angle. But it keeps going straight. Then as you keep going straight, there's another door to your right. And finally, you get to uh, a room. <clears throat> Once you get oh, to hi, Mark. <laughs> Once you get to this room, uh, he opens the door, and you see now this room. There's a a little bit far off in the distance. You see that there's some people kind of moving and shuffling about. But Luke turns through all and kind of just puts his lip, uh, his finger to his lip and says, Shh, this is where the priests are attending to the dead. This is the mausoleum area. Uh -huh. So, um... I, I want to listen. Are they... Are Do I recognize any intonations of temple stuff here? Um... Yeah, your religious knowledge is deep enough that you can tell this is just regular prayers that you have heard many of times. Just uh, just priests standing to the dead. There's nothing sinister or weird about the prayers that are being uttered here. There's there's, there's no uh, Hail Mary full of grace, you know, Pasperon is, oh, rise, old dead. Yeah, nobody here is trying to raise the dead right now, it doesn't seem like. Oh, Alright. Come back at full moon, I guess. I don't know. It's bad form. Uh, let's do it during working hours. And then, uh, at this being the mausoleum, there's a staircase that leads upwards. You imagine back to the street level of, um, of Mergen. But there's also a door north. And out of the mausoleum, yeah, still in the underground level. Where does that door lead, Luke? Oh, that their door. Um, well, it, if I recall correctly, it leads to sort of a, <clears throat> a weird place, goes left, branches left, rather, right back into town, it goes through old town, and then eventually. Uh, keeps leading north to market town. 
but then there it also branches right so branching left and right where it branches right is actually just an ex excavation uh which leads to the mines outside of town i believe and well some people were talking about construction projects to expand the undergrounds and eventually expand the city further but uh yeah. there's no sewers there yet this is just construction so this is actually where her legislation stops so anything going this tunnel to the right is not our business anymore perfect place to race what hmm I don't know the miners would be raising zombies, actually. You'd be surprised. Right? Well, I would be, well, surprised. be surprised. What, you'd be surprised what children get up to. <laughs> uh, I I say to the group, not to the leader, we needed to get beneath the Kastenbaum's manor or Kastenbaum uh, sewers, right? I something my not says. So, should we ask him if there's, like, any connection to this the thing the detective wanted? Well, true, I mean, we're in Copper Town. Where was the mention again? Let me check. The Castle Bones Manor is in Castle Town, yeah. which is on the north-east part of town. So, northeast corner of this map here. Uh -huh. So, about a, whereabouts of there? Uh -huh. Gotcha. Well, we, I think we should get him to get us there without stating the, or the connection to the curse and bombs. I think that's best to keep that to us for now. Well, first we want to investigate zombies. That, yep. But I think it's related for some reason. Well, yes, but going... Ah, yes, thank you for bringing us all the way here. Uh, we need to go in the complete opposite direction. <laughs> yes. So, I'm suspicious about that. What's up? Sorry. What's up with this um, wardening business? I thought I thought wardens were, you know, going out into the fields, fighting the good fight. There where the monsters appear. Well, we go wherever potential monsters are, so here we are. Just just and check. We, and we had heard reports of some creature that was down here as well as zombies. A creature down here? Yes. Huh. Well, this is the first time I've ever heard of wardens being sent here into the sewers. There's always yeah, time the for last. the first one. But, um, well, this is the mausoleum, this is where, well, not here exactly, but this region is where the zombies were reported to be found at. Actually, uh, on the way here, we passed on a door uh, that was the one of the breweries in town. They said that when, when they went down into their, their basement, to their cellars, to... Uh, fetch more booze, wine, whatever. Uh, they found a zombie there, and then they had to deal with it, and it was all the craze. Uh, and then they complained heavily to town, and then we found out that apparently the zombie wandered in from the sewers, and, well, we imagine the zombies must have come from the mausoleum. But also, necromancy and all that kind of stuff is forbidden here, so we really don't know. Hmm. Well, either he wanted in, like the report says, or he was raised here? I don't know. Who would do such a thing and why? Well, it certainly beats me. I don't know anything about zombies. Well, other than, you know, the basics. Should we check the wine cellar just to be sure it's not spiked with make zombie liquids? I don't know. Um, well, 
technically that's not part of the sewer system anymore, so we can't really go there. True, true, all right. We will need to get permission from the 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 brewer the brewery. Hmm? Yes, permission, of course. So by the way, what did that nice elven lady say to you on the way out? Um why do you ask, sir? Oh, I was just wondering. I mean, uh, she obviously told you something, and I was wondering if maybe she knew where these things were. Uh. Well, um. That's not something I'm supposed to go out telling anyone, you know? This is part of my job. She just oh, gave well, me directions, I, I really. Know. Oh, she gave you directions in secret, I see. Mm -hmm. Are you not telling us, Mr. Luke? Um, He's a zombie you himself. Awful, yeah. You look awful, awful uh, nervous there. It pays. You look awful nervous. He does. looks very awfully nervous. You can't really tell why he's nervous but uh... hey, what are you I'm doing for an intimidation check and trying to scare him into telling us what he's not telling us and I'm not directly going for a threat towards this person but more like you don't know what kind of situation we are in it's like Keeping it vague, like there's a lot at stake, and but not really threatening his life. I guess. Well, then that's yeah. just a uh, good old uh, persuasion or diplomacy in this, in this game. It? Yeah, you're trying, I mean, to, you're, trying, you're trying to convince him non aggressively. That's called being diplomatic. Yep. But make it a secret check, please. He did. Why, thank you. So. What exactly is it that you're saying again? Um, I'm making wake threats about the situation and uh, big problems for the city without going into specifics. And this business, since the detective is involved, goes up a lot higher than ranks than he is probably aware of. So, you know. And it'll go on your permanent record, sir! Oh no. School, so, why? Why have you followed me here? Oh no, <laughs> I won't get the promotion that I wanted to get. See? How are you going to afford the uh, nice weekend house for your wife and two and a half statistical kids, see? <laughs> oh no, how does he know I have half a child? <laughs> Just because we're halflings, that's not how it works. <laughs> no, I must leave them alone. <laughs> Don't be saying that about halflings, sir! The... The thing he says is, um, nah. well, they just, they send word out, or they said that they were going to send word out to double check your credentials, make sure that what you're up to, and also they were going to fetch some guards to come take you out from the sewers, and also she asked me to lead you through a not very good path, that's all. Yeah. I had a feeling we're going and wasting time, honestly. All right, thank you. For but aren't your... you? But aren't you afraid that you know something would happen to you down here? I mean, there's obviously something that's here, and she's led you into this. I mean, she could have led you to your death. Oh, sir! Did you kill you? How much do you like your boss? <laughs> That's precisely the case, sir. I've I've been working here for years, and I've just met you. I have more reason to trust my my boss than I have to trust you. Though you are wardens of the academy, but, I suppose. And I'm a cleric of Pasperon. He wouldn't lie, right? Are you That's know, I can't I can't see all that well in the dark. I will illuminate with light and show him my holy symbol. Oh my god, right in front of us? 
Can't right believe he pulled out his colleagues. In right in front of my grimoire? <laughs> <laughs> he... Uh, he immediately goes, Oh! Huh. Well, well, everything else I said is true about the Stanos. They... This is just the way it is, but... I don't. I don't know why my boss told to um, to distract you. I, does does she know? Oh. Do you know where where we are not supposed to go? You're not supposed to go. Well, pretty much anywhere else that leads uh, leaves the tunnels. There's also the um, oh, the more straightforward path through the. Through the through the underground to go to to come here to the mausoleum, is that pa path north that I said leads uh, back, and it's it's a it's a straight path to Castle Town, but we're not really supposed to go to Castle Town. There's uh, another group that an administrates that part of the underground, and we're really not supposed to go that way. Castle Town, you all heard that. Uh. As in the path north being the weird place tunnel or the 45 degree tunnel? No, go this way. And in this room, he kind of points to the door to the north. It says, okay. going off of that door, it branches into two paths. One goes to the right, into the, into the excavation, and one goes to the left. The path left, uh, it eventually just goes on a straight line north all the way to Castletown. But we're not supposed to go that way. Okay, so this left. Can you ping where we're not supposed to go? I, I'm lost track of the map. We're not supposed to go to the Cast of Bomb Manor, which is in okay. Castle Town. Yeah. All right, all right. That's, that's the I'm... area that we're going to. Which I think and... is the left branch that I just labeled. Right. Got it. So that, that yes. left branch ha goes to both new construction as well as Castle Town. Well, Castle Town and Market Town. Market Town, right. It first goes oh, okay. through Market Town and after Market Town you do get to Castle Town, uh, but it's a, it's a straight line. Got it. Okay, so then our, okay. our, our map is okay without that other line. Got it. About the... Yes, yes. Okay. Perfect. Well, since... Anything else we need well, to know? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and go on. You can tell her that she, we, we got away from you and we tricked you or something. Yeah, and I was about you to can go. Then you can go back, but be real careful because we really do think that there's something down here. Say we threaten you and so you don't lose your job for helping us or something, I don't know. Well, I'm, I don't yeah. know that they'll, they'll believe me and even then they'll... We, we can smack you up a bit if you want to make it believable. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> I thought about that as well. Yeah. I Maybe mean, like well, Bruce. If or they something. fire you, they have to give you severance. So don't can, quit. Can't can, can't you just you know like tie a rope around me? You don't have to beat me up. You can just do that instead. Yeah, oh, sure. Let's 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 tie it to a corner or something. And and yes, yes, that's good. But but if you. are if you're tied up down here, wouldn't that make you easy target for the zombies? I don't think there are zombies in between here and the mausoleum, but probably we're in the parts where we're not supposed to go where we are going. Well, you are, well, Tyler, you are yeah, inside the mausoleum. Uh -huh. why, don't we, why don't we tie them like loose so he can get away? Because yeah, we just kind of want sure. him to get away, yes, yes. I mean, I, I, I think I'll be fine in... Worst case scenario, I think those priests over there, they can just untie me if any zombies come this yeah, way. The, yeah, it's, there's no zombies here. We have priests. It's, it's fine. It's your funeral. Tie him up. All right. Who wants to do a rope thing? Who's Where's a crafting boy? Do the thing. Well, actually, to, means I'm... to tie knots, it would be a TV check. But I, I suppose we're just... He's not resisting it, so it doesn't really matter. So. Yeah. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. But one of you are losing your ropes to actually tie poor Luke down here. So Alright, I lost the rope. I okay. did it. You're I sacrificing lost. your rope. 
I'll and get a new one in town. I have a rope as well. Fine, it wasn't mine. Okay. One of you spend you one your rope to to leave Luke here in a believable state of oh no, I've been bamboozled. How could this have happened? Mm -hmm. All right, who's using the rope? I already did. I just okay. Very good. Backpack. Very good. All right. And that aside, what else are you doing, or where else are you going? We're going to head uh, on the path toward Market Town, and then through the uh, the hidden the, the the tunnel that we're not supposed to go into. Yep. All right. So <clears throat> you leave poor Luke down here, and then you get out, go to the through the door north and you do see that indeed this tunnel branches two ways like Luke told you you would it branches to the left and to the right but you follow the branch left you don't want to go to the excavation I don't think correct so you follow the oh. branch hmm? uh, well I you know we... no no we'll go to the left we'll go to the left <laughs> all right so you go to the left, and once you get there, it's kind of a, a star crossing there. You came from one direction, and there's two branches, one to the left and one to the right. But because of the angle, it's kind of it's kind of tricky to really understand where these branches are going. Is any of them looking like they go straight, since he said that it goes straight to Castletown? Both of them look like they go straight. Oh. Straight passing, yes. Which one, left or right? I mean, we can go if... that way. We are not straight. Oh. Oh. I mean, if we went left, going left again would further curve back on the path we were, so I guess right? Yes. Right sounds good. All right, so you take the you take the path right, <clears throat> and it goes north for a little bit, but then immediately there's a crossroads that goes uh, two ways. It goes to the left, to the right, but it keeps going straight onwards. Straight onwards. Be a statue I am path so confused. Taking. Well, the getting out of the mausoleum, the tunnel branches left and right. You went left, but then the tunnel branches again, left and right again. You went right. So, Correct. Yes. So now you're going on a straight tunnel, and the the tunnel. Continues straight ahead, but then there's a, a, Cross a crossroads, right. left and right, but it keeps going straight ahead. Right, and we're going to go straight ahead. Oh, okay. So you keep going straight ahead. The tunnel kind of starts curving a little bit to the right, then back a little bit to the left. But then you see there's a, a, passage, a passageway to your right, but that's completely making a turn. And not following the, the, the tunnel straight on. Mm. Alright, so there's a turn to the right. Is it a 180 degree turn? Like going backwards? No, it's a 90 degree turn. Ah. Alright, but we're we're still going straight. Because straight is Castletown. Yeah. Then you keep going. Uh, and then now there's a turn to the left. 90 degrees left. We shall not stray from our path. Straight it is. Alright. Then as you keep going <clears throat> straight ahead, there's um, another crossroads that branches left, right, but keeps going straight. The path to the right, uh, it's you can't really tell, but it seems to go somewhat straight. But the path to the left, it immediately starts curving in some odd direction. Alright. And there's yeah, being the path straight ahead. Straight ahead. All right. Yep. You keep on going straight ahead, but uh, 
you... It doesn't take too long before you can... Uh, you can notice some figures in the distance. And the figures in the distance also notice you. Oh no. Are they zombies? And the figures in the distance, uh, one of them just, sh just shouts, Halt there! Criminal scum. <laughs> Who are you? We're wardens! We're looking for zombies in the sewers! Then they I don't think we should tell them that, but they probably belong to the cast and bombs, right? My my assumption. The two figures yeah. talk to one another in somewhat whispery voices. You can kind of hear the echoes of the whispers, but you can't quite understand what they're saying. Especially because it well, seems like they're speaking in another language. Oh <gasps> no. Which language? Oh no. Uh, some of you catch a word or another of Elvish. Elven, even. Not again. Why are all the elves in the sewers? Because they made the sewers. Sewer elves. Where do you think uh, a goblin elves. elf came God. from? Where do you think the engineer elf came from? Uh, I so... should ask her next time. Uh, Nick Nack and Vice, both of you can catch a couple words of Elvish here and there. Uh, but mostly what you are able to understand is just some faint uh, drive them away, or they're not to, to, to go this way. And then they just say, Oh, the zombies! They've been dealt with already. We have no need for you here. We would like to see evidence of the zombies having been dealt with. Yes. For the record. Well, we don't have to come here again, you know. Well, for the record, I'll have you know, the zombies have been here a couple weeks ago. All of the evidence has already been submitted. Seems like you didn't do your job right, academics. Go back to school. That's this guy, huh? Well, we weren't involved in the submission of the information, so... You did your job wrong. You were not here two weeks ago. Go back and fi find the information. If it's uh, still missing, then it's a big no you moment. I'm sorry. The information is missing. I have the lack of information right here, where it should be. It's not here. I hold it? up a random lump of book. Well, it's probably you? the Dwarven Secrets book. Mm. Well, aren't you the cock of the walk now? Well, nonetheless, I don't see anyone else from the sewer company with you. This part here is restricted. Only a person with access to the sewer tunnels can come through. If you don't have a guide, turn around. We have a guide. Um, he, um, shit. It's this fine fellow right here, I point to Ash. His name is Luke. I scream. <laughs> and they kind of talk to one another, kind of in whispers again. I thought Luke was a halfling. There's more than one person named Luke, damn it. That's just racist to assume, I guess. Does that work? And then they kind of just shout, Do you think we're dumb? Turn around before things get yes. nasty. Are you We're threatening us with violence? We're in the sewers! Where do you think it's going to go? Precisely. Turn around. Come, go back the way you came. How many of them are there? Point is best to just try intimidation. There's uh, two guys, and they don't seem like they're going to be intimidated just by shouting words of one another. You are two guys, we are six and a robot, so I think we can try. Try to? Yes. To do what? To well, intimidate. Well, they threatened us with violence. Well, intimidate how, exactly? Well, Just they're... threaten them back, fuck them. Uh, words is not the answer, you're gonna have to beat them up, I'm afraid. Yeah. Well, if you're just shouting words with them, then yeah, give me a secret uh, intimidation check. Still hit him later if it doesn't work. 
Is to what? Nothing. Nothing. So, Lex. I yelled, um, L listen, buddies, if you don't let us through, we're going to go back and come back with a big army from the academy because something is fucking fishy in here and we're... You don't want us to leave and come back with our pals from upstairs, right? So either let us through or this is going to end up very ugly for you. And I'm going to ask for your, I don't know, badge number instead of thing. Your names, I'm going to report them. That you have been obstructing official warden and academy business. I don't know, I'm just, you know. <clears throat> they kind of stop talking to listen to what you're saying for a while. And they turn to one another. And they seem to make some sign to each other, but in the dark, in this tunnel, at this distance, it's hard to tell. At this time of year. This time of year? Summer. I got nothing of what none of you said. <laughs> it's just it's fine. But, You're uh, just being stupid. It's does fine. Broadway see you with his dark vision? Is it too far away? Uh, no, no, not really. Broadway can see, and Broadway sees that the sign that they're making, it kind of mimics it to you. And, uh... Mm. Mm hmm. I'm just, I'm just pondering, like, how universal, universally understandable the sign would be. The, the gang sign. <laughs> yeah, it's they, a thumbs up, it's very universal. <laughs> Actually, it isn't. They're doing their own brand of gang signs, and from what you can tell, Lex, Broadway yeah. tries to mimic those those, those signs, and it, one of the guys kind of seems to indicate his two fingers together, pointing at a direction. His index and middle finger together, pointing at a direction, and then he splits his fingers and kind of makes a a. Uh, onwards motion with his hands and then he points at the guy and then points upwards then he points back at him with his thumb and kind of uh, kind of moves his thumb horizontally across his neck ah so no, that's no, threats of violence that's not good that's not good um spell a spell i don't know but then the guy but, says all right all right all right If you want the evidence, the physical evidence of the zombies, we have it here. Just come Perfect. on. Just come on. You know we can see in the dark, right? Oh, shh. Don't tell them. Let them think they're preparing a trap. I don't want them to prepare a trap. I want them to stop now. You could prepare some spells or something so we can jump, get to jump at least or something. Oh, tough shit, fuckers. We also can see in the dark. Run! And one of the elves just shit. runs down the tunnel and the other elf ruining stuff. stands there in the middle of the way and he says, Light! <laughs> one of the other elves, he just stands there kind of trying to block your path across this tunnel. He just says, well, come on now. We've seen your faces. Someone's going to be here. Looking for you, Wardens of the Academy, very soon. What you gonna do now, big boys? You're not gonna I'll go home, you. bye. Hey! Can I walk up to him and shoot him in the kneecap? Are you shooting him, Nick Nick? I'm tempted. Yeah, I'm do really it. tempted. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Well, can be the, if I the cleric stop. hasn't objected yet. So. Are they within 30 feet of me? No, they're can within 60-ish feet. Perfect. Can I can I start casting a thing? Fireworks? Are you Fuck going? It, right? Are you going to attack them with spells? Yes. Okay. In that case, then we're going to roll for initiatives. No side is surprised. All right. All right. I have assumed. I assume. Worth it. Worth it. Try. <laughs> worth it. It says. You go to ah. What? Oh, 
Hold on, I just I have... didn't. I didn't think they're gonna have dark vision to be honest. For some reason, they're but... elves. They have low light vision. They're they have low yes, light vision, yes, not I, dark I stupid, vision. I stupid. Yeah, sorry. I mean, I can actually see in the dark, but apparently, dark vision doesn't have a range in this version. No, it doesn't. doesn't. The range is what you would be able to normally see, anyways. Ah, yes, infinite dark vision, of course. It's odd, it's it's his own thing, but that's not here nor there. In any case, a... I mean, it lines up with low light vision, at least. A lone elf blocks your path. Oh no, we're playing Undertale. Quickly, <laughs> spare him. <laughs> so... I would like everyone to go ahead and roll initiative once I set it up to be rollable. Yep. There you go. Ash, go ahead, you can do it. Oh yeah, I forgot Ash. Clicky oh, clock clock. Give me the cantic no roll. There we go. So let me roll for Ash and for the medi medium humanoid whispering. Whatever that means. So. But he was yelling! I bet he's shouting, yes. Will Deck. You get to do aggressions first. If any, I do at all. get to do aggression first, but I. It, the whispering that he's doing, is he casting? No, no, that's just his name as Foundry. Ah, uh, okay, very good, very good, very good. Yeah, it's like the gay one. <laughs> surrender! Yeah, surrender now! Oh, command! Getting, oh, command! Getting feisty up in here. I mean, he'll surrender for an action and then stop surrendering. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. But I, I, I... Okay. Didn't you right, so, I have to, so I'm going to have to move in order to do this. Sure. Only. Oh, I have to go action. to the front line. Dun dun dun. And I can move through allies, right? Yeah, yeah. I yep. Can. You just can't stop on their space. That's good enough. I go over there and surrender. Oh can no! Can you say that two enemies? Am I confusing something? What? Can you say that like two guards are just seeing one? And one yeah, ran off. The other one. one ah, ran off okay, ready. okay, my bad. He's going to get. And he went through one of the side doors over here? No, he went uh, further down the tunnel to such a point that you couldn't couldn't see anymore because the other guy stands oh. in the way, blocking the vision and your passage. Yep. Also, this is just a room, a generic room for battles. Imagine this is a tunnel corridor. All right, all right. Got it. I yeah. didn't think you would this be is... attacking the guards in the tunnel. You fought wrong. I did, clearly. <laughs> So he is going to try and resist. Yes. Please succeed. Please don't. Uh. That Shit. doesn't want to figure out what. That's uh -huh. not what a resist. One action of surrendering means. <laughs> All right, he failed. For the first action on its next turn, the creature must use a single action to do as you command, and your command is surrender. Surrender. Yourself. What surrender is? No, you can't tell it to kill themselves. I know. Yeah, yeah. So that's actually all of... this spell is a lot less specific about what you can't do. Right. So basically, it's the what is it? Uh, you release what you're holding and drop prone. Oh, it has to be one of those things. Because it's only the first action, and each one of those things takes an action. Ah, uh, which stand, just stand still. Just don't do anything. Mm, literally, yeah. just surrender. And just stand. surrender. Yep. And this elven guy, he kind of just grunts like, Neh. and his first turn is just wasted as he tries to clear his mind of this uh, nonsense that you're throwing at him. Like, how am I supposed to only surrender for two seconds? What is this? <laughs> you did the math. And then he looks at you like, ah, I see how it is. And 
and then it uh, looks a true wheel deck because you're small and also threatening him to screw up with its 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 heads. Does, I did. Doesn't like that not one bit. So he's going to go ahead and aim his crossbow at you and kerchunk you. Damn it. Oh, no, I hit. Yay. So you are hit uh, by this Crespian. So I need you to do me a fortitude saving throw, please. Fortitude saving throw. Well, I would do that, but he needs to re-roll that die. Oh, no, not a whammy. A whammy. I hate this Shit. picture so much. I'm sorry. Oh, You're Lord have mercy. Are you sure about that? I would, yeah, I was about to say, he had an above average chance of hitting you. Well, he'll, mm -hmm. he'll take his worst result, which is the just regular yep. hit. Yep. Still have to go ahead and do that uh, for two save. Oh, Four no, you don't. Save. He says his probability flings the crossbow into your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I think I saved. You're good. You super saved. You hey. shot first, just remember. You tried to get into my head. You suffer five points of piercing damage. Not much, but it's honest damage. Hey. And then he runs over to this corner of the room. And that's his turn. Uh, no, because he has to stand still for the whole time? No. no it, only, only one of his actions. Just the first action. Uh -uh. Just the first action, unless he Got critically it. fails. Got it. Uh-uh. All right. I'll use This one. is my thing about how a lot of these spells and abilities aren't very useful unless you yeah, crit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lex. All right. Yeah, one, yeah. One action to move. Wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, 25. Perfect. Yes. And Lex is going to move up. Here. That was one action. And, and I'm going to cast Crushing Ground on that guy. With two actions. And Broadway gets one action for free. And which he is going to use to I just move closer, I guess. There we go. Do do I need to do the save this year? You? No, I do. Yeah. I was just okay. reading the spell. Because this spell feels like it's area of effect, but actually no. Yeah, that was confusing me too. Yes, it's not. Ah, dice. Okay, Come he on. saves. Roll for damage. He'll suffer half. Oh, looks. Oh, boy. yes. That's a lot 66 of damage. 66 of bludgeoning. Oh, he suffers half of that. Mm -hmm. So 9 and points of damage. My turn. Plus and 1 saves. Yeah, he, sh he should be all Begins over magic. What the hell? His elf, man. That's... I thought that was only enchantment. And sleep. Well, you didn't see his You're save against, against uh, Wildax command. True. It had a For plus some reason, reason has just plus did two not... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Sewer elves are very magic resistant. Apparently. But that was bludgeoning damage, but okay. Uh, yeah. what? I was supposed to be... It's a reflex save and bludgeoning damage. How is magic resistance important? No, he... Uh, it's you're magic. casting a spell to do the thing, yeah. so he has a save ah. against spells. Whatever spell it is. It doesn't matter. It does not matter the damage. It just matters that it's right. a spell. Okay, Mostly because he can see you casting the spell and then he can react accordingly. Nonetheless, it's Ash's turn now. What will he do? Go on. I can do it. I heard a lot of things, but I didn't get catch any. What? What? What is he doing? I'm just chilling for him. Go on, right. Ash, guys. Go it runs away. So Ash will just target the the no the 
don't know, the, the elf. And... Oh, no. Actually... Let's use the body switch technique. You, you <laughs> get, oh my god, not the body switch. You get closer, target the elf, and then try to ca call some form of mental damage to him with a biting words attack. Ooh, and he hits. There we go. You just see Ash running, running ahead with a short sword that he pulled out uh, from from his scabbard. But instead of actually doing anything, he just kind of points the sword at the elf and says, "You there? <laughs> Your mom? She looks so ordinary that when she dies, I bet she drops common loot." <laughs> wow. Oh no. And the elf suffers ten points of mental damage. <laughs> and that's Ash's turn. And he fucking dies. <laughs> ah yes, your mom damage. Yeah. Uh, knick knack. Yay. That's plenty of damage distance for me. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I'll have the giant robot uh, spend two actions going this way. Oh, yeah, maybe not so much. Please don't crush my idol on pick. True action. I wanna. Yeah, okay. Um Rusty can get down. You know what? Actually, I'll, let him, mm. I'll then let him use a third action to nom. 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 Alright, that'll do damage. Ooh. Man, this guy is so overwhelmed. And against all odds, I'm going to try and shoot him in the knee. <laughs> wow. Pew. That hits. And he suffers the damage as Rusty rushes up to him and just kind of chomps down on him. You, uh, Broadway, Ash, and Lex, m who are closer, can hear the the sound of crunching bones as R Rusty super chomps at him, and then he starts going like, "Ah, no! Wait, wait, no!" And then Nick Nack just shoots his kneecaps off, uh, but slightly. Miscalculates that, and the bullet goes elsewhere through the elf's brain. He drops dead. Oops. Ooh. Yeah, that was a bit harder than I was expecting. Admittedly, I was shooting him with a gun. So the elf is now dead on the ground, bleeding profusely from his a place. We found evidence of zombie workmen. It was terrible. And all of you gain experience points for killing a man. Yay. Yeah. Only, Murder only Bobby, level three. Bobby giving us experience. Oh my god. Yeah, admittedly, I was thinking I, I should I should make a non-lethal attack. Like, but I don't want to take a minus two to damage. Is, oh, is there is there any way that I can cast stabilize on him to like so he doesn't die? Um, well, technically, he is dying one, so you could, if you want to. Yeah. I, I don't want him to die. I mean, I, I just wanted to disable him. Yeah. Sure. Uh, so you rush over to him, Wild Deck, and you cast Stabilize on him, and he, who's just at, at this point, like, coughing blood and just convulsing on the ground you, you you use a prayer of pass prone to relax him and then uh, the convulsion stops uh, he also stops coughing blood but he is at zero hit points unconscious uh, legs are crushed from the chumps you you had to chew off his legs he was too tall and in the way I see. 
Um, I mean, I didn't want to kill anyone as part of all of this. I mean, I was all for threatening him. Maybe we can just see if there's any, like, zombie stuff that's down here now. Yeah, that's probably an idea. Um. Yeah, the other guy went ahead and... Uh, probably started running faster when he heard other loud oh, noises. Oh, of course! Oh yeah, the company I mean, of gunshots and whatnot definitely carries on the underground. Yep. Well, this wasn't going to be easy regardless. Hooray. All the while... Uh, it would have been easier. Ash is just kind of sat there, kind of thinking. His eyes are wide and he's just pondering and going, um, What do we do now? I guess we go and look around some and see if we can see where the zombies were coming from. But aren't, aren't they going to send more people down here? Uh, well, or we look for a way out, one or the other. I mean, we were looking for trouble one way or another. But I don't like the way we did yeah, well, at least no one's died. Also, didn't that Luke guy said that they were sending reinforcements down the tunnels? So oh, I yes, I'm that, sure they're coming. I don't know that we can go back the same way we came. No, definitely go, not. Let's go forward and see if we can get out some way. Look for a way out. Well, all right. Um, okay. So... From where you are, where you just fought this one uh, elven guard, the path continues forwards. Going forwards, once again, it branches. Uh, two quarters, one to your left, one to your right, but the path also continues straight ahead. Um, you can tell that the guy kept running uh, further ahead. But... All right. These, the, these quarters that leads left and right, the the passage is very close by, and you can see that at the end, there does seem to be like a, a room of sorts on both ends of the corridor. The corridors to your left and right. Gotcha. And this is the lungs. Yes. So... Maybe we should look left and right and see if there's, like, a way out of here. Why did we even... Oh my god. <laughs> so, left and right? think it was right. going to be easy, did you? I'm starting to doubt our capabilities, and I'm thinking this town is doomed. Let's go to the left. All right. And and look at that door. Listen at the door and then open it up and see what's inside of it if we don't hear any noise. Sure. Uh, when you get there, you just hear some kind of machine noise going on. All right. But it doesn't seem to be any other kind of noises in there. Open the door. All right. You open the door and it's kind of a whole situation that is going on here. You see that at the ground there's a large, uh, a large tank uh, that is made of metal or something or another. You can see that there are some pipes that are going into the, the this metal container from the walls, and you can tell that it's filled up with water because of the reflections you can see, uh, sort of on on the ceiling. And looking at the ceiling, you can tell that uh, there does seem to be some kind of vertical tunnel, round vertical tunnel, and a rope. This seems to be a well, but a more ah, a more uh, industrialized version of a well of some sort. There, you can hear very faint humming coming from both. The, the tubes that come from the walls into the, the, the metal tank and from the metal tank itself. There does seem to be something magical about it. Furthermore, in this room, 
you came in through this door. Immediately to your left on the wall, there's another door that leads elsewhere. And immediately ahead on the opposite wall, there's also another door that leads elsewhere. Got it. So, where to next? Well, well, well. We can try to get out. We can uh, climb the rope and see if we can get out, but we'll be in Castletown. Yeah, but our goal was less Castletown and more Kassenbaum Manor-ish. Well, we can see where we are when we come up the well. Also true. Uh, let's try to climb out, Doug. Okay. I'll need um, <clears throat> an athletics check from whoever's climbing. Boy, that's one of my favorites to roll! Because, I mean, at least one of you needs to climb first to be on the top that's so you can aid your fellow party mates by pulling them up so they don't have to athletics? do Athletics? Yeah, athletics. Athletics. Let, let me try. If I don't come back, I assume uh, the horse. Boom. All right. And you fail. So, you all see as Vise starts uh, kind of using whatever he can to leverage some height that so he can get onto the top of the tank, uh, even using the, the, the tubes that come from the walls. Once you get there to the top of the tank, Vise, you can see that this tank is indeed filled with a bunch of water, and uh, it's a tall tank. One could drown easily in it, but... Um, there is a bucket that is inside there, just kind of sitting there, and a uh, and a rope attached to, to to the bucket and whatever is upwards. And you jump ahead, catching the rope, and then starts climbing. And all of you that stays down there just hear the the creaking of the rope as slowly but surely Vice kind of disappears upwards into the vertical shaft until. Vice, eventually, you pop out of this well at the street level, and you look around, and you can see that you are indeed in Castletown. You are, well, you're climbing out of a well at some point here. Uh, due to the hour, there's not, not a whole lot of people out in the streets. Uh, and the few people who are there don't even notice you. This seems like a place you could use to escape. Or at least Very well. help your party mates climb up the rope now, so they don't have to make Can a you want to hear me? I assume you have <laughs> forms of communications. Hello! Uh, Alright! Uh, well, climb up! Alright! I want to see Rusty to climb the rope. Up. Uh, no, need, you how, don't get how, to be lazy. Do we how need tall to is the tunnel? Uh, how how, how do deep mean? is the how deep is the well? Uh, not too deep. I I don't have any numbers on the top of my head, but I would say like some forty, fifty feet, sixty maybe. I just returned. Are we going up and down or down? <clears throat> up. Uh -huh. But goodbye, fuckers. I'm flying up there. Hooey. Sure, Lex, you also just use your wings to leverage all the height you need to get to the top of the water tank and then just fly out of the... out of the, the thing. Or at least... Uh, don't know that the, the tunnel is wide enough for you to fully spread your wings, but you can climb the rope pretty, pretty dang easily. Climb the rope. All right, so all of you are climbing the rope with the help of Lex and Vice and everywhere else who have gotten up at this point. Yep. The only yep. problem is Rusty, I assume. Yeah. 
Not getting through that tunnel, I think. Not that wide. This token implies otherwise. Uh, Rusty would fit in that tunnel. The 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 well. Oh. All right. Problem I assume so is that Rusty uh, does not have a climbing speed, and he's far too heavy for anyone to carry him upwards. Yep. yep. And the Can rope itself is the rope itself is not that strong. So, well, I I assume if all of you have a length of rope with you, you could kind of do it. I. I have a rope. Uh, I ran I know that rope. Lex, Lex used his rope. Yeah, but there's already a rope here. I have a rope. Good. If we all just pull at it, we should be able to drag him up, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Uh, so all instead right. of asking for uh, any kind of other weird tests, I would just ask um, everyone for a stealth check to see that nobody notices you pulling a giant robot out of the well. Okay. Yeah, also stealth? make this secret. Secret stealth. Yep. Secret robot pulling check, yes. Um I assume Ash is also rolling for it. I guess. Yep. Stealthful. Broadway. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so <laughs> this is kind of funny because everyone failed, <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> except for Broadway. So as soon as you guys <laughs> are seen, Broadway just poofs out of existence. Doesn't get seen at all. But no. at some point, some guards who are walking past they see you. Uh, pulling, fi uh, done pulling the robot out of the well, and the guards just kind of instantly just shout, "Hey, what's going on over there?" He fell. My dog into fell into the well. a well. We need to pull it out. He has fallen and he can't get up. Can you maybe help us, poor uh, random town folks? Our beloved robot is down the well. Please, sir, we need your strength. <laughs> the guards, they look at one another, then they look at you. And they go, Hold on, you're not servants. You're not allowed near the wells. Yes. What we, we were supposed to do? Just leave it there? We will be out of, your, uh, out of your vision as soon as we get him. Promise we won't make any trouble, good sirs. Help us and we shall be gone. Well, now, 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 hold on. If you're going down into the wells, we need to... We need to write this down. No, we're Ooh. not going down into the wells. We're leaving. He just fell. We had no plan on going down. We didn't even know there's a down. Well, who fell where? The robot? Oh, the robot! Yeah! Well, still... Hey, can I try a deception check to... to... And we actually just Timbos who who lost our robot down the well. No, you have to do me a diplomacy secret. Mostly because what they were going to say is that the robot <clears throat> the robot could be some kind of pollutant agent that could poison the 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 well waters and you're trying to prove that it's not. Toxic. My diplomacy is better, I'm fine with that. Sure. They look at one another and then back at you and says, Well, alright, I assume you don't mean ill at all, but still, this will require an investigation, so if you please could come with us, we just need to report this. Don't make our job as any worse than it has to be. You help us pull him out first, and now we'll come along. I mean, at this point, you have already pulled out Rusty from the. the oh, okay, okay, I missed that part. Okay, sure, yeah. Well, all right then. Let's go to the 
to the waterworks office. Report this. So to the group. Do we go or do we put up a fight? I mean, it's up to you, really. The the guards are kind of starting to round you up to take you to the waterworks place to report this. How, How many, many guards, guards are there? there? Uh, there are two guards only. Come on, easy. easy. That should be uh, forty-two experience, right? Don't say that. Don't say that. It might be an even lower level. Oh no! You're so desperate for experience, on my dog. <laughs> no, we're not desperate for experience. Well, then, what are you doing? Yeah. I mean, we are obviously not going back to Um, we could pretend to follow them and then quietly slip further and further behind them until they. That's most my I idea. like that. I like that. We can try, but they'll be looking for us, right? Yeah. Just saying, we just failed the stealth checks. What makes us go? Oh, we will we'll do it this time. Yeah. What you would need to do instead would be. To just make a run for it. Make a run for it. Cast light in their face and make a run for it. <laughs> well, sure, yeah, I'm down. Sure. That'll be an athletics check for everyone. And oh boy, oh if you boy. have any spells that could aid you in this, then sure. Pop off. I will. Ignis. Uh, well, I'll just ride on Rusty. Uh, he is better athletics. Uh, My. Athletics is real bad. Can Broadway just carry me? Does that help? Well, I'll consider that you have the ability of just, you know, flying over walls and houses and just, you know... Yeah, yeah, I can just fuck off, right? Yeah, just fuck off in unspecified direction, if you want to. <laughs> Alright, let's try it. All right, so everyone's everyone's running. Yep, yep. and I'm yep. I'm using my agile feet, but I can't link it for some reason because it's not wanting to link. Uh, no, it's fine. It's I saw you in chat. Okay, you've I don't it see it five times already. Oh well, I don't see it. Six, even. No, five. Oh, sorry. So, I need everyone to go ahead and roll me an athletics check, except for Lex, because I imagine you're flying over the wall. How yeah, I'm just, just... And Knickknack, you're actually riding on Rusty. Yep. So Rusty makes an uh, athletics check. And so does I. <laughs> he falls into the fall again! God damn the, other, the, other question, the other question is, was this supposed to be secret or just straight? Uh, it can be open. Okay. okay. Cool. Well, well it's, gonna, it is open as shit. I'm Can't gonna find spend a uh, athletics way. point. The, the, yeah, I'm there's a gonna, hero point there. Yeah, I, I spent a hero point to be decent. Sure. Here we go. Yay. See you never, losers. Oh, by the way, the DC 16. Ah. Should have said that beforehand, but that's not here nor there. Oh, not Ash. The leg is lost too, it's fine, okay. Fortunately, it's half in luck. Except I, I think do. he probably used it yesterday. Or last session. I don't think so, no. There hasn't... I've not okay. it. The day thus far has only been studies. You guys have done, been doing nothing of extraneous or weird. So you do still have your half in luck. I'm re-rolling... But I'm not seeing any results, so I have to... There we go. 16. Excellent. 16 is what you want. Oh, oh we are... Exactly Looks what like... you needed, even. It's like we're leaving and... Ash behind, huh? So, everyone kind of starts just running. And Ash uh, kind of takes a while to start going after you because it... he's not that... Uh, intimately acquainted with the group to know your your tactics so when all of you just decide to run it takes him a, a moment to catch on that that's what you're doing 
So can <clears throat> I grab him and shove him on Rusty? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, yeah. Sure. He's... Since Rusty is a large thing. Yeah. So Ash takes a while to actually manage to catch up, but once it does catch up, you just pull him on top of Rusty, uh, and well, Vise and Wildak just kind of scamper off. All of you just scatter to the four winds out of Castletown and then back into Mergen and then ducking and diving into each and every alley you can find that so you, uh, you're gone. You're just gone. We're just rats. So I don't know that you guys have came up with any... any um, Information. Well, not information, but idea on how to meet back up once because you've split, mostly. So I'll roll uh. a d4 to see something. Chew, that would be knickknack. Knickknack, what is the meeting point for everyone? Where would you go to and, exp and wait for the remainder of the group to find you? It would make sense to me if the meeting point would be um, probably the central part where we come down from the gondolas. The academy? Or well, the waterfall? It, well, in town, basically. Ah, yes. So, uh, the Villa Nova. Or Nova yeah. Villa, is it? Alright, so... <clears throat> I was going to say waterfall, but we kind of went in there. So that's not the best plan. So you go over there to um, the bottom of the gondolas to wait for a while. And a short while later, eventually all of your peers do make their way up there. Ash, Lex, Vise, Wildak. And yeah, that's all of you. <laughs> but so, yes. So all of you meet back up there a couple of hours later after uh, giving the slip to the castle town guards. And now that you're reunited, what up, y'all? What did that mean? I was gone for a few minutes before we climbed up. What happened? So we got we got back and we went to the bottom where the gondolas uh, where we get on the gondolas to go back up to the academy, and uh, we're trying to decide what we're doing now at this point. I, I think personally we should go and talk to uh, Professor Jorgenod. Uh, because we're going to be in trouble. No, I mean... Let's go and talk to Professor Jurgenot. We need to talk him about Blizzard anyways. Yep. Okay, but what happened after we killed the first guard in between climbing up the... Well, did I miss We anyone? didn't kill anyone. Thank Are you, you very much. Yes. Okay. Uh, we knocked the guard unconscious. We went straight for a while, saw some forks with some dead ends, and found well to leave okay so we yeah. did okay yeah you all as a group decided that instead of continuing your investigation it would be better to find a way out because oh, that all. the elf do the elf who ran away what a title uh went to find reinforcements of some kind but also luke had said that the waterworks people were sending guards of their own after you to you know, arrest you for whatever reason. Maybe because you didn't provide yeah. documents. Right. So... Or because they're sus as hell. That's true. Yeah. In other words, the way that you came from in the in the underground, uh, you would probably have guards looking for you in those ways, so... No, no, that, that's, that makes sense. Yeah. So with you not knowing the layout, you decided to find the closest uh, escape point and exit through there. Got and you did. You exited in Castletown, ran away from the guards, and now you're here at the bottom of the gondolas, pondering what's next. And I assume you're and climbing back up to the academy. Spending Correct. another silver. Yeah. Another silver. <laughs> All right. You spend your fourth silver coin for the day to ride the That's gondolas it. back up. Or silver and nothing to show for it. <laughs> yes. Dreadful. Does Ash have money on him? Right. Yeah, right. 
Uh, yes. Okay, perfect. So, Ash, what's your opinion on the Warren business? Are you planning on applying for real? And I wink at him. Um, um, great first day. I don't know that I was all that keen to apply before, but that that was scuffed, wasn't it? Oh yeah. Hmm? Yeah, everything went perfectly fine. We didn't kill anybody. That's good. That's what usually happens, right, guys? Wait. Well, <laughs> we yeah. usually don't, don't actually fight people, so... We usually don't even deal with people. That's true, right? Yeah, I thought the Wardens were only uh, hunted titans. And It'd be surprised single... how many titans decide to be people, like... Yeah... Titans do. plus one, usually. <laughs> There was a cult around it, and they weren't very fun. I, I think this has been explained to you probably at this point. Yeah. Statistically. Well, I don't know that I'm all that keen to join the Wardens, but I think I held myself pretty Red well on. back there, huh? Yeah, oh, yes! Did. Yep. Excellent job. Did 10 sonic damage, very good. I don't Mental know what damage, that means. Actually. Mental damage, actually. Mental damage, I believe you insulted that man into the floor. Yeah. Well, I mean, I did what I could. But, um... So... Tomorrow, it'll be 29 days, huh? Yep. That's right! Well, that's a still plenty of time, I think. I mean, we did make some progress today, didn't we? We did! And alarm the cast bombs and the waterworks and whoever's in bed with them about us Wait. snooping around. The cast bombs? Yes. What do they have to do with this? Well, it's Probably beneath something. the sewers. There's a chance they're involved. Oh, mention it. Oh. Oh. Hmm. They're pretty bad news people, anyway. Well, I don't know. I never really got all that closely involved with the comings and goings of the lords and ladies of Mergen. Um. Best, best to keep it that way, to be honest. Well, I was going to say that if anyone knows anything about anyone is. You know whom? Claire! Oh my god. Precisely. She would know. This is something. this is when we find out Claire knows precisely she, what a zombie is. Oh, no. <laughs> she, she is a necromancer. Yeah. She is a bad person. I knew it. But... I... Don't know that... Well, I don't even know anything anymore. But hey. Um... We did good today. I think. We did do good. It was an interesting date, yes. <laughs> date, you say? I mean, what else are you gonna call breaking into waterworks and sewers? Oh my yeah. god, we all had a date with Ash? Yeah, oh my god. <laughs> well, didn't imply that, but okay. I hope you enjoyed it, Ash. Well, f from the stories I've heard, some of them, and the books I've read, those sewers seems to be the most gourmet sewers I've ever been to. So, I think we could be doing a whole lot worse. Oh yeah. Oh my god, first date in, in the sewers. sewers. How but romantic. If you'll excuse me, I feel like I need to take a very long shower. Uh-huh. Yeah, you do. Absolutely fair. Press the digitation. Or that. Precipitation doesn't house you from feeling dirty. <laughs> Not feeling dirty, but being dirty. Uh, You're perfectly clean, but something feels like it's making your skin crawl. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I'll... Must be skin spiders. <laughs> I'll hit the river. See you guys later. Bye! Bye! Bye. And Ash kind of goes off. Kind of surprised that he's... 
fur never seen as pristine as it seems now after being prestigitated. But, uh, yeah. Can't believe I was down in the sewers! Well, you're probably gonna have to go back. Time yeah. To go. Did we get a quick travel point? Yes, that well outside of Castletown. Perfect. Just need to jump straight down, apparently. Fly. Yeah. <laughs> about you guys? Yes, I should invest in that. Make that Rusty portable enchantment, or whatever. Make him foldable. Foldable, yes. I love it. I mean, it's not wrong. This is my Rusty suitcase. You can fold it into a suitcase or into a robot. So it's uh, just after seven, so we could go see Professor Jorgenod. Yes. Is that what you yes. want to do? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> are you are you doing anything before doing that? No yeah. showering. Straight stinky into his room. No, no. I press the digitate people. Yeah, that'll do something with that. But I meant more so as in, are you getting Professor uh, Brennislav to go along? Is he still here? Yes. Ah, wait. <laughs> Professor Brennislav, not that yeah. Brennislav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, not the... Yes. I'm, yes. You, I don't even know. He could still be here. I don't think it was yeah. properly expressed. Well, no, he just he disappeared. Oh, okay. Yeah. We'll go get. We'll go get get Professor uh, Branislav and take him with us to Jorgenod to talk to him about what's happening. Also, side thought: maybe we should inform the detective that they. No, people I'm not paying for... another silver and writing down there again. Just maybe a message or something. I think we can send a sleep those. message. Mm -hmm. I'll, yes, I'll Dream. send a sleep message to him tonight. Thank you. So that, it's just it doesn't get a call. Hello, beautiful. How was your dream? Anyways. <laughs> uh, your dreams have been brought to you by Wildak. Oh no. Receive your message right after the sponsor. Wait. All right. So, have, have you worshipped Pasperon today? <laughs> Did you pray today? You should. You find Professor Branislav kind of in the library. Well, in the library, kind of looking through some books, and he looks up when he sees all of you coming in and says, "Ah, I have potential good news." It would seem some scholar at some point decided to write a few things about abyssal creatures. Not much, but enough to give us a little bit of leeway with Yorgonah, that is. Oh, well, that's good. We uh, we went down into the sewers, got inside. Uh, we almost killed a man, and... Uh, the guards that were down there uh, basically sent us out with a, 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 a worker who didn't know hardly anything and was going to lead us into pretty much a trap. Wait, a trap? Well, they said that they were going to... He said that they were going to send guards and stuff down after us or whatever, and... Uh, we fake tied him up and left him there, and uh, then uh, we went and found the path that takes us underneath Castletown, and find, found that, and uh, el an elf attacked us, a, a sewer elf attacked us, and then the other one went to go and get more guards, and we Yeah, escaped. yeah, yeah, we get out, and now we're here. Let's not do the full recap. So... Did you find anything about the abyssal presence there? No, no, absolutely no, we, not. No, nope. we do Just know that where they the... are suspicious as fuck. And they're uh, hiding everything. something. Yeah, something's going on down there, and we did find the place where the mausoleum is there, and there are priests that are down there who are doing something, but I'm not sure what they're doing. But it didn't look bad, but it didn't sound bad, but it could. Oh, be bad. Uh, 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 yes. Huh. Stop over explaining. 
No. Well, I need to know this kinds of information is important. But also... Uh... So we figured it's probably time to tell Jurgenod before the word comes up that there were people who signed their names as us and went down into the sewers and a big hoo-ha. Ah, and Branislav. Sorry. Hold on, does that... You said you, you said went your into... real name, Sigils. <laughs> you didn't have to use a fake name, but it's not important. Oh wait, you... I used I, I used Branislav as my name. Yes. Forgot. Are you saying that Which... you went into Castle Town to try to look into the Castle Bones? We or, did. More yes. specifically, Elder Watcher, I assume. Yes. Ah. Well, that kind of. That's kind of a weird hitch, because if Castenborn and Elder Watcher are indeed involved in something they now know, there are outsiders trying to look into it. Well, yeah, there was something that was going on down there. Which? I mean, they probably already knew since the detective is on record for having checked into that sort of thing. Yeah, we were not the first people looking into this. And and he saw us in town talking to the detective, so of course he knows, because he's got people looking everywhere. Well, then let's hope that Castenborn and Elder Watcher are not involved with this Abyssal Presence nonsense, because if they are, well, that shifts the whole schedule, I think. I, I agree. So let's go talk to Jurgenov. One day he'll get his name right. Jurgenov! <laughs> Sorry! Well then... Uh, I have sort of prepared a whole letter of explanation. It's not too fancy, but it's something. Are you going to mail it to him or something? Well, I... I was thinking about that, of, you know, being away enough, mail it to him, maybe anonymously. Oh, let's go in, let's go in and talk to him. Well, alright. You'll hoping... get to see all of the golden laid desks. I'm sure he already saw that. Well, I don't really care for the golden laid desk, I more so care about not being outlawed from another kingdom. But, uh, well. Huh. I suppose, well, let's go. And... Yeah. Brynislav... Professor Brynislav allows you to lead him towards the... the office of Koren Jurgenad, the headmaster. The deputy headmaster yeah. of the academy. You know, knock on the door, he <laughs> opens the door. You see him, the man, the myth, the legend, the derg, there. Oh, it's all of you. Yeah, you know that it's always a problem when it's all of us. Especially <laughs> at the late hour of the evening. Why is it always the three of you when it's strong? Yes. Well, not only is it the four of you, but also Professor Branislav. I did not expect you to be involved with this for... So, what is it? So we start telling him uh, the tale of what's going on and that there is an abyssal presence in Mergen and that a very powerful creature has sensed the presence of it there and has told us that it will destroy Mergen in now 29 days unless we get rid of the Abyssal Presence. And that we went down to Mergen underneath into the, the, the sewers. Uh, we kind of bluffed our way in, uh, but then found that the guards were going to be called on us. We went on down the line after leaving Luke fake tied up there we found the mausoleum area and then we found sewer elves and the sewer elves uh one of them attacked us the other one ran down the tunnel saying that they were going to get more and we came back out 
and we still haven't found any zombies that were there or an abyssal presence there and we got 29 days left uh <clears throat> professor Jurgenard is more or less enraptured in your story and he says an abyssal presence in Mergen. In Mergen. And at this know. time of year. Top of the Aurora Borealis memes. <laughs> oh boy, are you okay? I did not understand the word. My, my voice is dying, yes. Oh no, you're going through puberty. Oh! Mm. Oh my god. Shut up. No. So... <clears throat> uh, you're gonna, he kind of listens to your tale, thinks about it all. So a strong presence says that it'll destroy the city if the abyssal presence is not dealt with. Didn't, didn't you feel that strong presence? It's, it, he was, it was right here in the academy. I sensed well, we something you be wrong. Prepared for something. Like that? I mean, it did mask itself, so... Professor Brynislav, I'll have to ask you. These four being wardens, they deal with all kinds of interesting, odd things in their journeys. How much do you know of their exploits and how far they're the things they deal with goes. And Professor Brunislav, he kind of ponders a little bit. And he says, Well, I know a lot about the Titans, the Ley Lines, the... some things or another about the Abyssal Presences. I'm sort of the one who kind of took notice of it first. Even though I kind of kept it, kept it a secret. For a while I was trying to figure it out. And... Well... At this point I know there's... A lot riding on this. So I think I can stop being coy. Well, both of us can stop being coy. If that's alright with you. Uh... I know about your true nature, you're gonna that you're a dragon. I've known for quite a while, ever since I came to this academy, to be honest. And as a matter of fact, I came to this academy, well, because I had some dealings around in the region. And also that agreement we kind of brokered. As part of me working here. But mainly, my job coming here was to keep tabs on you and our other friend down in town. You know, Zoldur. I also know what he is. And. Yeah. And you can see that your uh, Professor Rigonod, his. Very just kind of quiet, too quiet. He just keeps his arms crossed, one one hand on, on his chin, just looking down at Professor Branislav, just taking in the words and thinking about the all the meaning behind them. And then Professor Rugonot says. So, I assume you know who this strong presence is that threatens to raise the city. And then Brandislav kind of looks around to your guys' faces, kind of searching for some sort of confirmation or denial or any, any hints from you. I, I think you should tell him. Yeah, go ahead. All right, there's there's a strong presence as it is that has asked me to keep track tabs on you. 
is I assume you heard tale about the Blizzard of the West. It's another one of your kind. The last, but also the first one of your kind. From what I understand. And um, he he is my master. He is the one who told me to come here. The one who told me to keep track of you, of Zolder. And now he is the one who told me and these guys here that we have a month to deal with the Abyssal Presence or he'll destroy this city. Lest this Abyssal Presence um, escapes. And due to your nature, I assume you know about Abyssal Presences. There's no way you couldn't know. And Professor Yurgenard, you see that he is... You can see that he is really trying very hard to keep his composure. But then he stops. Walks back to, uh, to his desk. That's how his back is... Is turned away from all of you. And without even looking, he just kind of lifts up his head a little bit. And what, pray tell, is the name behind the Blizzard of the West? Is it the names I grew up hearing? And Bren Professor Brendislav says, Well, I don't know your life, sir, but I assume it is. The Blizzard of the West is... The white dragon, Rigayorent. Oh, so that's his name. Says the character, but not the player. <laughs> and that's where we're going to end the game for today. Dun dun dun! Oh! We have a button for that. No, don't! Don't press the button! Yes! No! It's too late. <laughs> God damn and you, the button. It's not long enough. Fast. Well, in any case, as always, thank you guys so very much for for playing. I thanks for running. <laughs> hope you yes. enjoyed this nonsense. That this crazy thank nonsense. Thank you for that today. running this hairbrain scheme. Absolutely great today. Yes. Damn, I hope so. <laughs> it was a mess. Uh, uh, that's fine. So the messes that's fine. are the most fun, I find. Sure. I mean, it was fun. But in any case, to those of you out there in the fringes, watching from miles and miles away, or kilometers if you're in other parts of the world, thank you also for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream, and we'll be catching each other next time, or at my recaps on YouTube. Goodbye, everyone. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye.